We're live. Good evening, big fat bastards and big fat bastard debts. Kings and queens, lovely to have you all with me, as always, on your behalf. What a joy it is for you to have me. That's just great. Boys and girls, Halana and Elena, partners tonight. I have an, a new card that I'd like to try out with them. And before we get started, I would like to take a look at a couple of changes that I'm going to be, uh, or cards I'm going to be adding to it um, once the new set comes out and we open up a, a bunch of boosters, hopefully acquire new cards. So before we get there, Halan and Elena, at the beginning of combat on your turn, put X plus one plus one counters on another target creature we control, where X is Halana and Elena's power. That creature gains haste until end of turn. So in this deck, I have some ways to increase Halan and Elena's power. Things like a Domri Anarchobolas. Um, things like a Vivian Reed. We've got Renata here, which is a slightly weaker, you know, honestly, a slightly weaker way to get it done. Um, Oron Reef Ooze. Things that can put plus one, plus one counters on stuff. You know, even, you know, the Great Henge, which we might get uh, later on in the game. The commander dies. It comes back into play with the counter. Things like that. All right. But the way that I'm planning on um, exploiting Halana and Elena that I haven't yet is with extra combat phases. And I only have one of those cards right now. I'm going to pull up another two in a moment. But Combat Celebrant here, if it hasn't been exerted this turn, we can exert it as it attacks. Exert, whatever. When you do, untap all other creatures you control. And after this phase, there's an additional combat Phase. I wonder how this is going to go with um, things that make copies of it, like Helm of the Host or Fable the Mirror Breaker. Anywho, um, here's another extra combat phases thing that uh, kind of goes nice in this deck, um, even before we get the um, ultimate of this Planeswalker, Zeriel Archduke here. Um, I'm not sure if that one's in, in standard or not. Let me actually see really quick. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you for indulging me. Let me just... Um, See a moment, but I think this is a, I think this is topical and maybe mildly interesting to some of us. Okay, so that's not in standard. Perfect. The only reason I checked is because you know golden packs. I might want to hold off a little more if it was in the golden pack still to get it there. Nevertheless, it plus ones creatures we control get plus one plus zero and haste. That's great um, because right, it gives plus one to our uh, commander who gives plus one plus one counters in turn based on uh, their power. Yep, it zeros to put a token into play. So I wonder if I could. Try Try it in the Jetmere Tokens deck, right? Because um, the ultimate goal of the Jetmere Tokens deck is to give your creatures Vigilance, Trample, and Double Strike. So plus one, plus zero. And haste on on tokens that you make the turn you kill is pretty good. But at minus six is to yeah, give you the additional combat phase. So that's um, one thing that's going to be coming in. It's a tool that I'll be using for um, a Tally Commander. And then there's like a five cost Minotaur. It shouldn't take that long to... Uh, find it here it's not that one but it gives extra oh okay it wasn't five okay it's six more aug uh, moron i don't know fury of akum each creature you control gets plus one plus zero for each time it has attacked this turn and it has an interesting landfall ability whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control if it's your main phase there's an additional combat phase after this phase at the beginning of that combat untap all creatures you control Kind of interesting, right? So, yeah. Um, those are going to be two more extra combat things that I'd like to have in this deck and other decks that have either red and green or just red. Um, yeah. So, with that said, just looking to exploit uh, another dimension of Halan and Elena. The biggest new thing of importance today is this. I want to see how this is in this deck. Um the plus ability is all right. You know, putting those beasts down onto the field isn't bad, but I think it might be more interesting for the minus ability because, like, for example, if we just cast our commander, right, and then we search our library for a creature card with lesser mana value, something less than Halan and Elena, right, um, at four mana value is uh, the Kodama of the West Tree here, right, comes in, gives modified creatures trample, and it can start ramping us up, right? Other things like Oron Reef Ooze, Cranko could get tutored in, right? And Cranko and Halan and Elena are extremely good together. I love that. The Combat Celebrant for extra, um, yeah, um, 
combat phases. So I'm hoping that that provides a little bit more of a level of strategy, right? Because we do have some interesting techs on some of our cards. So, um, and then obviously that that hypothetical was only with Holan and Elena. Galta is arguably the best way to abuse that, right? Because Galta could cost you two mana, but still be twelve, uh, you know, twelve mana cost you just tutor out anything in the deck. So, um, let's go, Aiden Flores. How you doing, man? There is going to be a lot of shenanigans, fudge. Yes. Ah, oh, yes. Fudge, yes, indeed. I'm going to go check my mail. I've got mail. Achieve perfection at Phyrexia. All will be one pre-release. The glory of Phyrexia awaits at your local game store. Until they shut them all down. Be among the first to purchase and play Phyrexia. All will be one. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Starting on Friday, February 3rd. Very cool. All right. Well, let's get right into this. Oh, boys and girls, I'm excited. I hope you are too. Let's do this. Holana and Elena Brawl. Looking at a looking at not a creature today, but I'd like to see how that Vivian Monsters Advocate that we just took a look at uh plays in this deck. It it has a plus ability that puts down that um that 3-3 three, three beast token, right? So, I mean, it can't be bad to have resilience against, you know, board wipes and stuff. And then once we finally get a creature spell in hand to cast, right, maybe we could minus it and also search for another one. So, yeah, very curious about it. Yesterday in um, Kodama of the West Tree Brawl, this was extremely effective. Do I keep this one? I'm going to try. Wow, okay. It's going to chug for a moment there. Let's uh, fix the text box. There we go. We like that. All right. We have a chance to resolve something. We resolve branching evolution. Okay, they leave one island untapped. Do we think that they have, what's it called, um, Wash Away? I believe they have Wash Away. We're going with um, Fight Rigging or Gwenna. Is it Fight Rigging? Okay, well, I let go of the... Uh, I let go of the mouse. I guess we'll do Guardian Project here because it can help us draw. We're going to have a nice-sized Llanowar Elf, so we do get the nice swing. Wow, yeah, okay, well, I mean, we had this here, Branching Evolution. If one or more plus one plus one counters would be put on a creature we control, twice that many plus one plus one counters are put on that creature instead. So just check that out with these two. If we manage to resolve Halan and Elena, they would accept the Fight Rigging counter, right? One counter double to two, so they would be a four, five, and then they would put four plus one plus one on this, doubled to eight. So yeah, that would be pretty fun. Just right there, at the beginning of combat, with only Halan and Elena, Lanawar Elves, and, well, a couple of really good enchantments, to be honest. Yeah, we got pretty fortunate with those enchantments, and going first. Right, get out ahead of the mana curve there. Lanawar Elf in hand, too. I mean, apparently we couldn't have asked for much more of a starting hand against him because he just noped out right away. Okay. On to the next one. Thank you all for joining me. As we trickle in here tonight to Big Fat MTG, Aiden, thank you. LOL. Amazing start. They, I, I, The poor guy, you know, if he didn't have a phenomenal hand or all the removal that he needed... Uh, what he what he did made perfect sense there. <laughs> yeah, good game to us. Yep. All right. Um, this is a no. No source of green, unfortunately. I can't even start to talk myself into a bad hand there. Because we do have the explore. Yep. That is a keep, definitely. Um, we are up against Niv-Mizzet. They could run counters. So, we'll aim to have Rhythm of the Wild down first. Do we do that before Query and Beast Caller? Uh, 
Um, I think we do the Beast Caller, honestly. We'll give that a shot. Growth Spiral, okay. Well, they're going to be uh, at six lands next turn if they get their drops at the World Tree. Uh, yeah, makes it set all their lands. Tap for uh, Man of Any Color. Good stuff for them. Um, so that's going to be really good. What exactly are we going to do here? Um, we might have to drop like this. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't really know what to do. This, this It sucks that they're uh, looking so good here. We didn't get the... Uh... I don't know. We didn't even knock it a good start. It was a pretty good start. But yeah, that's rather unfortunate. Alright, they get some nice cards there. Um, Golos is pretty good. Yeah, okay. Um, so that's looking pretty good for them. Um, I'd say we hit Silver back Elder there. So I'll probably drop this, actually, so that I can go get a Forest. We'll give it a moment. There it is. Okay. Um, Silverback Elder, right? Yeah, I kind of like the Silverback Elder there. Um, no attack. Okay, so what do they have in hand? Oro, Dovin's Veto, which can counter Rhythm of the Wild, and Tyrant's Scorn. We are hoping to drop Kogla. Maybe not on their commander, because if they, uh, you know, can cast it again and do that, uh, look at the top cards and get cards, maybe we'll just take the six and deal with a bigger threat. We'll see. We'll see how our working theory goes here. Silverback Elder might be a pressing issue to them. We did see them glance over it there. I guess it's a big issue. There, well, there you go. Vanishing verse. It is a big issue. All right. Now, is that Halan and Elena, or is that Kogla? Because if they have Wash Away, with those three lands, they could use it for one mana on Halan and Elena, or they could just use it for right three mana, just counter Kogla. So is there a difference? Is there a difference? I think we probably drop Kogla. Or, sorry, not Kogla, Halan and Elena. Because Kogla could be pretty good, and fight a, a threat of some sort. Good lord, dude. Alright, yep. Before the uh, plus one, plus one counter can be redistributed. Good stuff by them. We'll drop that. Um, that'll be all past turn. I couldn't do Domri or Kabolas there because they have Dovin's Veto in hand. So they would have just casted that on either Domri um, probably Domri, so that way we could have done Halan and Elena after it, right? Yeah, but that would have screwed up the turn if it didn't resolve. We would have only had three mana. Um, yeah. Maybe they'll destroy the, uh, Signet. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good. We can still drop a Seiju and have Kogla. That will be the third green. This is actually a blue-white player. <laughs> Alright, blue-white player. Are we done here? Come on, man. Alright. Cool. Well, let's try something. Um, I think it's this.
Good God, man. Good God. Wow, dude. Mr. Carter's freaking 90 years old. Frail. We're doing it on this, not this, I think, because they could just cast that next turn and get more cards in hand. And I would lose Kogla. Alright, well, we attack. All right, he did something. Boys and girls, he woke up. They Welcome, Mr. Carter. Thank you for joining us. Wow, signs of life for Mr. Carter. He's winning, but he's dead, so that's even more impressive. I Wow, I'm getting beaten by someone who's dead. Pretty impressive by him, not going to lie. But in all, seriously, in all seriousness, could you just goddamn hurry up? Thank you, and we'll uh, probably finish out the uh, loss here. Yeah, there you go. Not good game. That was miserable. I'm sorry. Wow. God. Pretty good game, to be honest. But Jesus Christ, could the pace be any more miserable? <laughs> good game, though. Damn. That Dovin's Veto in hand was too bad because I would have liked to get down um, Rhythm of the Wild or Domery. But um, either way, I mean, he had removal spells. So even if they get to the field, of course, you know, we got Mortified, a Vanishing Burst. Yep, good game. Oh, God. Too bad, though. Unfortunately, they had the removal they needed. All right, I hope this frame rate picks up. My goodness, man. This isn't a terrible hand, honestly. We have Lanoir into Champion of Lamholt and then into um, into Commander, and we could put the um, the counters on Champion of Lamholt and stop their creatures from being able to block. I think that's worth it, right? <sighs> yeah, I think it's worth it. It's definitely Halan and Elena next turn. Yep, we'll do that. <sighs> okay, Cold Steel Heart, so they're tapped. Nice. Okay, that's a pretty good card. Um, nevertheless, it's still exactly that. Hold on, and Elena. So, next turn, we'll cast, like, Signet and Clothis. Um, even if we get a different creature, um, I don't want to start overextending into a board wipe, which could be perfect for them, right? Like, wipe the board, then play Azika's Chariot. Okay, then. Yep. So it'll be a nice turn. Yep. Just those two. I think that would be good setup for uh, more later while uh, not overextending into the board. Get some extra counters out of Halan and Elena. Get the uh, two uh, damage to them and two life gain out of Clothis there. But alas, they conceded. So there you go. Dava, Trava, okay. Lanoir into Jugan. I think we're going to take this one. I, you'd like the third land, but we are going second. So we have the extra chance. This is the thing, uh, yeah, exile cards instead of going into graveyard, okay?
Okay. Turn two. Jugan. Hope and pray. For the, um... Hope and pray for the third land, because I would drop Vivian Monster's Advocate, not Elder Gargaroth, because, uh, yeah, rem removal. Um, yeah, um... Okay, well, uh, we'll give him a moment to digest. Um, we would now like another land, please. That wasn't the perfect thing for me. I mean, either way, we can still drop Commander so long as, uh, everything that we have on the board as soon as, uh, the stacks allow to, uh, clear out there. Okay. Mm, looks like they, uh, just went away from the screen for a second. Here they are. Wow, okay, we get that one. Now, do I go Vivian? Because I do not want this next thing countered. I truly do not want this next thing countered. I might even go Halan and Elena here. Um, although we don't get too much out of it. Um, let's go... Um, let's go Gate to Manorborn and Hajar. I'm convinced that we're going to get countered, so... I don't want to give them Halan and Elena. I don't want to give them either of the five drops in hand either. As we can see, it took them a long time to allow it. And that is a layer of security for Halan and Elena before they get onto the field. Because it sacrifices free of any other charges. You just sacrifice it like, oh god, yeah, come on. He just passes the turn like that. Yeah, I think we all know what that means. We're going to go um, Ava Brook. Oh, wow, they countered that. All right, well, since they only have this, I still think that they could have um, Wash Away. But we're going to go Vivian, I believe, here. Uh, yeah. All right, um, we are going to do this. It gets the Vigilance counter. Or, yep, Vigilance, and we attack. There you go, five damage. Very nice there. Now we have a repeatable source of creatures. They're not the biggest or strongest or anything. But it is something. And we can minus two next turn. Um, and so if we minus two her, it's on cast that we get to search our uh, library for the creature and bring it in. We're going to get Kodama of the West Tree so that we can just get big fat lands, boys and girls. Big fat lands here. Yep, we're getting Kodama. Where are you? Uh, there you are. Hello. On you. And we'll attack with only the ones that can actually get through. Alright, nice. We get two lands out of that. We'll get a... Uh, a green and a red, I think. Because we have tons of green in hand, but, you know, double red would be nice. There you go. Okay, that's, uh, that's commander tax right now. There you go. Vorinclex on top. Wow. Wow, that's huge. Sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Okay, well, that's only going to be, um, yeah, Vivian, unfortunately. I mean, we still keep Halan and Elena out. They only have one mana. Oh, right, they do that. Okay, yeah, that's annoying. Um, what do we do here? I'd say we block. All right, there you go. Open field, and eh? I guess they had nothing to do. GG. <sighs> yeah, I felt good about that Vivian Reed play there. And damn, those those two lands were... Uh, that was nice, huh? That was really freaking nice. We had Hajar down for protection against board wipes. Damn. Good stuff.
I like that Vivian Monsters Advocate a lot. I want to try it in Galta Brawl. Um, Lana, Barry, GG's, thank you. Yeah, I feel good about that one. I'm really liking that Vivian Monsters Advocate. That, oh man. I really like that card. Now, I, I was really hoping to get some use out of Vorinclex there too, but, uh. I think the game might have gotten a little too silly for us at that point, and they probably wouldn't have stayed very long. So we'll take what we can get, which is a nice little show from Vivian Arkbo. Or Monsters, whatever. Um, oh, boy. We, we mulligan down to six here. I think I'm going to keep it. I'll get rid of Averbrook, Caretaker, and hope for the best. Richard, hell yeah. Oh, thank God I caught the stream. Thank goodness you're here, Richard. You are just here in time we just started welcome one welcome all i see aiden lana richard happy to have you all nice turnout for me i like it thank you so much um that's a phenomenal top deck goblin and archimancer there red and green or whatever actually it's each spell you cast yes each spell that's red or green costs one less to cast Ugh, love this card It, it probably just eats removal, but maybe it makes it one card safer for Selvala there. Um, so, there we go. Well, we still need a second source of green, of course, to do that. But there you go. That's what we have, okay? It gets Bone Crusher Gianted. That stinks. Do they get their land drop? There it is. All right, good on them. Good on them. Um, well, that stinks, boys and girls. Okay. Well. Yeah, this isn't looking too good. They're just uh, getting, uh, they're just marching towards casting this, and, uh, yeah. That one's a bit too much. Okay. Oh, yes, yes. I clicked, I clicked space bar a lot of times. Okay. Yeah, this is looking pretty, uh, cut and dry for them. We get that, and, like, that's good, but, I mean, this isn't looking good. So, yeah, probably about good game here. I was waiting all week to say how miserable... Oh, hang on. Um, text box moving. Okay. How miserable it is being nearly 50 degrees here in... Co oh, my God. Yeah, well, that does rub it in the face. Oh, wow. Sounds like heaven. <laughs> oh, man. Sounds great. I'm a little, a little jealous, not going to lie. Um, I would say that's Gargara. Right? Blocks flyers gives us a um, a thing for blocking said flyers. Um, we definitely take the block there, right? Um, I would assume they're going to wipe the field, so maybe we, um, instead of putting the 3-3 three, three down, maybe we draw a card. Okay, he said oops. It looks like that's an actual just a Poor guy, yeah, he misplayed. He he pulled a big fat MTG, as I called it. He uh, he fat fingered it. It happens, my boy. I I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Um, I wonder if they tap out more, we're gonna go Quartzwood Crasher and really mess things up for them. Yeah, because they still have the one open mana that could um, wash away our commander. So instead of giving them that beautiful opportunity that we know they would love. We make things difficult. Um, we're gonna put. Um, we're gonna draw the card there, I think, because we are up against some uh, somebody who probably likes countering stuff. Wow! For the record, um, Quartzwood Crasher here. Um, since Elder Gargaroth has Trample, Quartzwood Crasher. Yeah. Whenever the uh, creatures with Trample deal damage to them, we make that uh, dinosaur baby token. Yeah, with stats equal to the trample damage dealt. And by the way, I just released a video like within the last month or something called like like making big fat baby dinos. I think that's pretty much the title of it. Um, you know, like under 20 minute, not a stream um, video. Now, that was pretty cool. It involved Quartzwood Crasher having a, a nice show. So if you're interested in seeing that card do some nice work, that was a good exhibition of it in the making of Big Fat Baby Dinos video. My! How the turn table... Yes! 
Wow, we did it. We did it. Yeah. Dude, he was just setting up flawlessly, but Elder Gargaroth stuck. That's it. And the turn tables. <laughs> we did it. What? Phage? He has Phage Avatar? Where did he get that? Yo, Phage the Untouchable. That is so, like, iconic. That's from, like, on like Onslaught or, like, Invasion. Maybe, like, wow. Odyssey? That thing, like, when it deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. That's a great card. Oh, wow. What a classic old card there. Oh, my God. With with the art so... Tr the avatar is so true to that artwork. I love that card. I gave one to somebody way back in the day because I really liked playing with them, and they were bugging me a lot for the card. It was nice playing with the dude, so uh, I gave it to him. All right. Well, I guess we'll uh, drop that one. This one also comes into play tapped, <laughs> and that one. So uh, yeah, we're 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 a little slow here. We're gonna do what we can. We drop the uh, untapped forest to get Hajar down next turn. Okay, that's nice to have as an option there, but uh, that and that pass turn. Oh, yep. Sorry, I have to uh, space bar our way through that. Let's do it. Okay, we got Hajar down. Let me bring him up once again. Surprised it took me so long to get him into this uh, list, but nevertheless, there it is. Extra good because we have that Vivian uh, Monsters Advocate that can go tutor for it. It's only a two-coster, so it's super easy to tutor for. Um, do we hit Branching Evolution here? They're largely tapped out, honestly. Uh, but then we can't drop an untap next turn. So I think we have to drop this uh, tapped and uh, pass turn. That it, it sucks. I'm not thrilled, okay? We ha we looks like we probably just have to pray that they whiff on the prismatic bridge. I think that's what's coming down. I'm not happy about it. Oh wow, is that gonna make me sacrifice a creature? That's Professor honest to you. Sacrifice it with the greatest power among creatures they control. Yep, well we'll just uh we'll just sacrifice it. There you go. You can't make me sacrifice something I don't have, so there you go. Um, okay. Um, I guess that's probably a red. This pass. We have nothing freaking else. It is something, because they probably want to hit the prismatic bridge here. So it can help us get a fat swing in at Professor Onyx. Let's see. In terms of forest, we have one, two, and then a third forest in hand because we have Nissa who shakes the world here. Obviously not as strong as in mono green, but nevertheless, you know. Ah oh, man, and oh okay, at least at least we're keeping Halan and Elena. That's good. We have Defiler Vigor and Nissa who shakes the world that we can play. Um so, yeah, okay, they get rid of Defiler. We keep Nyssa. All right, well, that'll increase our mana capacity. They're all tapped out. Um, on this one, I think. Uh, yeah, this one, actually. Because we don't need it to tap for extra mana right now. So you go right there. You attack face. There you go. We get rid of one thing, and, well, hopefully here comes something not worse. We hope they get, like, a mana dork or something. All right, that exiles target non-land permanent, which is annoying, but we do have some stuff on the field that we can do. Okay, yep, yeah, move it to command zone. Fine. All right, they have three cards in hand. We drop that. Let's see. Um, do we start by attacking? I think yes. I, I 
if I put Branching Evolution down, it does not double the amount of counters that go onto that, because it only doubles the amount of counters that go onto creatures, and it's a land when it accepts the counters. Yes? Oh, wow, this, uh, this frame rate is killing me. Alright, Hull Breaker Horror. Wow. Um, we might be able to deal with that, though, because we do have this, so we might be able to pull some trickery here. Um, let's see. We can actually do that. I think we can kill this. Um, I think we can kill this. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, no. We got this. We got this. We got this. Come on. It's gonna take everything we have, and that does suck. Oh, that sucks, but whatever. We have to pray that they whiff with the Prismatic Bridge here. Come on. I wonder if you're brave. Then I discard a card. Oh, man. Okay, they have a little too much value here. We'll, we'll give it an attempt, but this really isn't looking good. Now I have to... I have to exile a card. It's probably Selvala, because I won't be able to, like, get much use out of it next turn. Honestly, we're probably about done here. This really sucks. We got four lands. We don't get extra value out of them. Yeah, I think we're just about done here. Because we can't cast Nissa and attack in because they just block with this. That's the only thing that we have, so I'd say a good game. <sighs> that was a good game. I really like the uh, Phage Avatar, to be honest. That's my favorite part there. Whew, bit too much there. Damn, no whiffs. Their deck list must be freaking stacked. Long, hell yeah, man. Hello, how you doing? Oh, nice to have you, man. We just got whooped by the Prismatic Bridge slash Azika. The game before that, we did pretty well against uh, something that I already forgot. Rusko Clockmaker. Pardon the interruption. Don't you worry. In a moment, we will get back to our regularly scheduled magic the gathering but i can't resist it boys and girls the thing is like it's no secret that rusco is a bit um a bit imbalanced and um it's actually the popular like thing to do to um okay this guy's taking a little too long but it's it's the popular thing to do to concede to them which i'm actually really happy about what i like to do to make it a little worse is to just actually you see how we waited till right now to do something like he actually thought that he was going to have a game because he gets conceded on like probably about half of the time, you know, like, isn't that great that we just gave him that ray of hope and then took it all away? Oh, God, doesn't that make you feel like just a sense of pride and accomplishment? Oh, because I know I feel a sense of pride and accomplishment when I do that. Also. I hate, hate, hate. Wow. Cards like Bridge. Okay, yeah, Prisma. Yep. Yeah. Golos or decks that just play itself. You're not just... Yeah, okay, I see. Just just set and forget. I feel you. I, it's it's a lot of value. The, the problem is, like, the health tier commanders, like, it's such a small tier of other... Or a small list of other commanders they face. That's, that's why I don't like, um... Joda as much as I thought I would. Like, I do like it. It's just that, like, you know, all you face is, like, other prismatic bridges and stuff. I think we could probably keep this one. I mean, we do have Signet. We have this, too. Um, we have this to possibly um, fight their commander if we can get enough, like, lands and stuff. Uh, so that first... Okay, that's a uh, Loam Speaker... All right, well, that's going to dork them into their commander. I'd say we drop uh, this one. Just because um, Arcane Signet taps 
the turn you bring it down, whereas this doesn't. So am I like a moderately, just barely better play? Um, okay. Um, I'd say we probably drop ours, right? Um, yep. And next turn, it would be extremely nice if our mana dork lived so that we can drop our, uh, fifth land in the mountain and go voracious hydra x equals three fight it against halana and elena <clears throat> we pray it doesn't get any more toughness okay that's only until end of turn so okay not gonna lie that is pretty big oh wait that gives it plus three plus three that does suck because uh, that thing is huge right now. We are going to... Uh, I think we're going to take all of that. <clears throat> okay, how are we going to do this? I got to think. Got to think. Give me a second. I got to think. Um, this might involve Toski. Yeah, this involves Toski. I think I can only attack with that. Alright, we might lose. I mean, really, all they have to do is bring down another thing. We're gonna lose our commander. Um, yeah, this is a little too out of control, though, and I, I didn't have the mana for Kogla yet. Another thing? Wow. Dude said, oops, maybe he had another creature that he wanted to play. Because now we obviously just get the block with Toski. That doesn't have um, tra or Trample or anything. That's why I didn't put the counters on Toski so that it could be untapped. Toski has to attack each combat if able. Um, so this is still 5-6. So we can hit that with Kogla right now. We got so lucky that we got that, uh, that land there. And then Kogla's going to attack. Um... And Kogla's going to destroy one of those things. Let's see which one we should destroy for each counter on it. Um, we have to attack with that. Do I attack with that? I think so, because we, uh, we need to kill stuff there um, for each counter. I well, uh, does anything give trample? Hang on, sorry. Does anything give trample? Uh, we'll just get rid of that one. Okay. Oh, Richard, who cares about fun when you just want to win, I guess? Yeah, well, you, that a lot of people who played this game would agree with you. A lot of them, buddy. Wow, they left. Oh, yes. Yes. Wow, that did not look like a win. Wow. Oh. That's because when they swung with a lot of damage, we decided to take a lot of damage and keep our beautiful creatures. Um, my bad. Sorry, I clicked on that for some reason. There you go. There's the right button. Let's go. Oh, yes. Happy to get that one. Toski there drawing us some cards. But maybe more importantly, getting a huge block on their massive creature so that we didn't have to lose any good creatures. Oh, yeah. Adeline. All right, well, blinking, you missed this one. If you... Might be a good time for a water break. Um, this is not the hand, unfortunately. Two lands and everything costs three and up. No. I think we can take this one. Again, two lands, but we do have a, um, a ramp thing. Domri as well, although by the time we can get Domri down against Aggro, he's not going to be safe, so. Yeah, honestly, this one is not looking too good. We need a land drop within the next two turns, so that after we drop Cold Steelheart, we can go into Halan and Alina. Uh, that will be on red. Yep, uh, 
Oh, shoot. Damn it. All right, whatever. Green is uh, honestly perfectly fine here. We only have single reds in the hand anyway, so whatever. I like green more now. How about that? Okay, we lost Skyclave Relic. I think we're pretty much good here because we have to pray for two top deck lands in a row. We'll see what we get, but... Okay. All right. Yeah, I think we're just about done here. That was uh, that was great. Good game. All right. What a joy. <laughs> the Skyclave Relic on the um, Cold Steel Hard. That was that was good. I mean, even if we had gotten Halan and Elena down. It was just going to sit there looking pretty for a little while. Oh, man. I can't wait to have more extra combat things in this deck. That Zeriel Planeswalker, that M Moron, the Minotaur, whatever it's called. Um, you know what? I am going to keep this one. We go first. We're up against Rafine. Okay, green and Lanoir there. Very nice. This coming turn, we can drop a Racer's Ring and Cold Steel Heart, assuming our, uh, our boy lives. Well, they get a non-creature non-land, so there goes that plan. We uh, drop that anyway, and we swing for one full entire damage, pressing our lead there. Bringing them down to 22, we notice they have a uh, Oko avatar. They should know better. That is uh, disgusting behavior. All right, well, um, I don't know. That's what you get with degenerates. So we um, do Halan and Elena and pass. We're hoping that they want to uh, drop, what's it called, Rafine. And not kill Halan and Elena. If Halan and Elena dies, we can get Ilharg down, which is still pretty good because we have Ancient Bronze Dragon in hand to profit off of Ilharg. There you go. That doesn't kill Ilharg, honestly. I want him to do good right now. Or, sorry, not good. Goodly, sorry, because it needs to be an adverb. I want Ilharg to do goodly right now. Really hope that's the case, because bringing this thing in and then putting the uh, X plus one plus one counters on Lanoir and Ilharg will be nuts. They'll have to wipe the board at that point, or in like some sort of like Skyclave, uh, some really good Skyclave thing going on. Well, Skyclave apparition, I always forget, but yeah, it can um, top of library or bottom, I think top. Yeah, I, I want that thing. Yeah, but Skyclave Apparition, I always forget, it can only uh, exile target permanent with uh, mana value 4 or less. Alright, we take some damage there. Kind of sucks. Oh well. Alright. Please don't deal with Il Ilhar again. The card's in their hand. Two now, so... Alright, they still have um two mana. Alright, they drop that, and that has a lot of freaking words. Alright, Graveyard Hate. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So we should um, prevent them from attacking here. Oh, right, because it connives X. So it's going to get another uh, counter. All right, well, we're going to keep that, which sucks. All right. I think we can go um, Hell Collector and then Galta. No, I kind of want to keep that thing up. So let's do this. And then ore on Refuse, I think. This isn't lethal with Galta, so we're going to drop that. It might force them to um, block with their commander, since it's a flyer. And if they if it attacks in, it's extremely good. You see them reading it again. They just did a double take. Now they're coping with having to block with their commander, which they don't want to do. They concede. Ah, <sighs> so it was the right thing to do. 
Yes. Oh my God. Cause um, yeah, we had plenty of little boys. We were going to put these counters on probably this and uh, eh, Pell Collector, I guess, because it gets trampled as long as it has three or more plus one plus one counters on it. Oh, and they were untapped, of course, to be big, mean blockers. So, wow. Feels good. Feels good. Uh, we got something that does stuff. Okay, whatever. Um, how's my vault progress? 6.1. There you go. Let's go. Oh, we're going to get a bunch more vault progress. We'll have a, uh, a pack opening when, um, when the new cards come out. Or new Phyrexia, whatever this one's called. Get a whole bunch more Vault Progress. Mythic Rares, Rares. We're going to uh, definitely get to some uh, to some deck upgrading, man. Oh, look at me. Oh, yes. Feast your eyes. We're doing it, boys and girls. We're getting Ws. That one felt good, man. I love my boy Ilharg. Shout out to my Explorer playlists. Um... Before I was running even dinosaurs on this channel, I was playing Gruul Ilharg Explorer. Man, I love that dude. Oh, what a, what a great guy. I love Ilharg. All right. Um, we're going to go Mountain first because um, you see Rootbound Crag has the the, uh, the red on the left and the green on the right. So we're going to try to uh, keep the feng shui all, you know, in peace and harmony there, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's what we do. Let's line it up right nice in the hand. You see that? We're trying to keep that on the field as well, that continuity there. Oh, all right, we're waiting for our friend here um, to... Oh, he's a blue-white player. Oh, well, that explains everything. All right, well, there you go, boys and girls. Grab, like, a, a neck brace or something, a pillow, blankets, you know. This this one's going to be a snoozer here. The, this blue-white player is here. They're still taking a... Uh, this this is actually considered responding quickly for them. So um, let's uh, let's count our blessings, I guess, that this uh, this guy's ahead of schedule. God, he's a blue white player. Ugh. Probably blink though. That is pretty cool. We'll have to contend with them making a lot of value. Some of those bl good blinkers are flyer. So Vivian Reed here, queen by the way, boys, control yourselves. Minus three is to destroy target artifact, enchantment, or creature with flying. Um, could see a use here. Okay, there we go. Dude's still ahead of schedule. So, uh, let's go. Nice, nice, uh, quick game against blue-white there. You'll love to see it. Wow, yes. Oh, that's the, that's the best game against the blue-white player, boys and girls. The fastest one. Let's go. There is a blue flyer coming up that gives plus one, minus one for every... So, oh, yeah, see, I told you he was here. I knew he was here. There you go. Sounds um sounds great, Richard. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff coming up, honestly. Like this this set will have an impact on historic brawl here that I'm playing. Obviously standard and definitely explore with the obliterator. But um those Dominus cards are looking pretty good. Um as for Elish Norn herself, I wonder how many um, decks she will be commanding versus how many decks Elish Norn will be a part of. I would imagine, um, I mean, it's it feels kind of stupid to say, but I'd imagine she'll be very... This guy is actually, Jesus, what a what a blue-white player. He's just trying to... Oops, hello. Yeah, okay, yeah, hi. Thank you for queuing and then going to do something else and then coming in with the oops, hello. It goes with your lack of social skills that leads you to believe that playing blue-white is an acceptable idea. Uh, okay, well, you know, some people just can't be reached, you know, that that's how it is. Um, what do we do here? Ronus Monument? I kind of like Ronus Monument, honestly. Because they do have the, uh, the blue open to, um, wash away the commander there. We might as well get some value out of this. It reduces the, um, casting cost of green creature spells by one. But whenever you cast any creature spell, target creature we control gets plus two, plus two, and trample until end of turn. That's super good on anything. It's super good on the commander. Oh, plus one, plus one? Okay, well, that's definitely better. Um, let's see. What is this? Um, oh, extra lands and stuff. Okay, we're going Vivian Reed. We, we really want that one to resolve. Oh, Vivian Reed... 
queen. What a queen. God, what a queen. I love Vivian Reed. And we don't get any creatures there. This might be decent. Um, if we can use it as an artifact slash uh, enchantment destruction, maybe even use it to kill like Hull of Stormbreakers or whatever the heck that uh, man land is called. Why is this person taking a million? I know, I know. Because it, it's a blue-white player. They're, they're freaking blue-white players, man. If it entered from your library or was cast from your library. Okay, not exile. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right. This, Vivian. God, Vivian's such a queen, right? There's there's no enchantments that I should poop on, right? Okay, and no flyers. Okay, just making sure. All right. Come to See what we get here. Um, Hajar is really good. Um, we have six capacity for mana. I'd say we drop... Um, let's drop... Do we do this? Put the... Um, Plus two, plus two on Loam Speaker and attack with Loam Speaker because it gets trampled from this. So it could make us a free creature. Um, do we do Hajar? Honestly, I, I want the free freaking creature. Right, because uh, they like to return cards to hand. So, yep, there it is, right there. Okay, annoying. Um, but, you know, nevertheless. Um, I mean, we could swing hugely at them right here. We could have gone... You dare to concede on freaking me after that? But what I was considering, what do we think of this, was dropping Besage you there and then going Terror of Mount Velis. Um, and Terror of Mount Velis, when we cast it, we would get the uh, target creature we control, right? Plus two, plus two, and trample until end of turn. We would put it on this thing, making it an 8-8, eight, eight, right, with trample. And then this enters the battlefield, gives all of our creatures um, double strike. Right, so 8-8, eight, eight, Trample, Double Strike. I think that would be pretty cool. I mean, even this at 3-3, three, three, Trample, Double Strike. But it, um, the point is, we would be making some fat dinosaurs there. Okay, so that was uh, that was pretty good. Dude got what he deserved. Oh, in typical blue-white fashion, just you know, com completely... Uh, oblivious to, to having an opponent and another person's time that, uh, you know, they should respect. In typical blue-white fashion, the moment their opponent started having fun, they're out the door because, you know, that's kryptonite to them. That's that's salt in a wound. Oh, you, you can't have fun? No! There will be no fun! Life is work. Life sucks and then you die. It's the blue-white player, not me. Um, oh, well deserved. Thank you. And Richard says, Bastardo. Thank you. Yes. Yep. The guy. He he deserves the roast, boys and girls. Don't don't hold back. Don't. I mean, he's a blue white player. Just just let out your frustrations with. If you had a bad day at work, you know, like a girl rejected you. Just let out all your frustrations, boys and girls. <sighs> Lanoir Alves. Me too. Oh my god, that's so cool. Okay. I mean, Query and Beast Caller. Pretty good, we'll take it, yep. Boom. No penalty for the uh, tapped land there. We like that. Next turn. Mountain, Halan, and Elena. By the time it attacks, Query and Beast Caller should have three counters there. They have Forest untapped now, so we're looking pretty good to uh, get a nice swing in with this. Now, this is going to get them a Legendary card into their hand. That's really good. So we're going to have to be really good here. We swing. If we get a land, we go um, Quartzwood Crasher, give it the counter's attack. If we don't, Galta is fine as well. Okay, we hope this isn't too bad. They do have the capacity for six mana. Paradox freaking engine. 
All right, do they have something to start with this? Oh, man. Well, how bad is it going to... Oh, wow, okay. And then they more... So is that just it now? Did we just get cook 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 comboed? Cool, dude. Probably just about done here, right? Because he's building up a uh, reserve of mana. Yeah, okay. That was really cool, dude. That's awesome. I love watching people play with themselves. Is there a word for that? God, that's that's so cool, dude. What an awesome combo. That, that's really cool. I love sitting there playing with myself. Oh, God. I wish I had friends. Why don't I have friends? Oh. I feel like that stuff is a lot more palatable in, like, you know, four-player where you have, you know, in addition to, like, me playing against them, there's two other people also playing against them. It, it's it's tough in one-on-one -on -one to uh, deal with a combo that sets up like that. Oh, man, too bad, too bad. But, yeah, Paradox Engine, there needs to be something, like, done about that. It's, I don't know, a lot of people want it banned, a lot of people want it not banned, but it's just, like, it's good, it, and it... It, it just, it, they're just playing with themselves. Like, I'll tell you what, why don't, if, if it, they have, like, the, their infinite combo, how about it just lets me, like, just go from the game, and then they can just take the game, you know? And they can keep on going after I concede, if that's what they want to do, you know? I feel like let them do it. If, if they really want to combo off, go for it, dude. I don't I don't need to be there. You're, you're just doing it for yourself anyway. Like, go for it, buddy. Okay, so Hajar, I'd say. Hajar, so that we have a um, a layer of security for Halan and Elena set up by the time it enters. Leafkin Druid could be the um, third source of green that we need for Vivian Reed. I think it should come um, sometime after Halan and Elena. Okay, it looks like they're pretty obviously angling to uh, counter us. We have to assume there. Um, instants and sorceries cost X less. Oh, yeah, forget about it. Um, okay, so we start by uh, attacking. Oh, this dumbass didn't next. What? Hey, cat the commander! Huh? But, but, but I was sure I get my counter! Oh, God. Uh, okay, so we're going to drop this for that uh, third source of green Vivian Arcbow Ranger there. We're going to hope that we don't need a, uh, a three damage wipe Brotherhood and Anger the Gods or something. Oh, I had no idea what to do there. All right, yeah, you cycle that. Yep, this is why it, it's just hard. And, like, things in here, like Baral especially, like, it's not worth playing one-on-one. -on -one. Like, even if you win, you're not going to have a good time. Um, you know, um... All right, um, so one, two, three. Okay, I think we'll uh, we'll drop this just to get around Spell Pierce here. It would be very nice if that resolved. Okay, that's really good because we can deal damage like that. Oh, yes, let's go. Do we get it? Slip out the back, all right? Well, we are not attacking because I would very much like it if Hajar could at least eat a kill spell to block this, right, before blocking this, or just straight get the block. But yeah, I want Vivian Reed to live. Please live. Please live. God, we really want that thing to live. It makes It puts counters on stuff. We need this. They're going to be casting some expensive instants and sorcery soon. Their instants and sorceries cost X less to cast where X is this thing's power. So, yeah, it has three power. So, yeah, they just did that for pretty cheap. Okay. That costed a lot, but they could still cast something pretty expensive here. Um, all right, 
So we drop that. That's pretty good. This. Uh, that. Uh, yeah, just that. All right, yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're going to start with our commander. That should draw a counter. There's something more important than casting our commander here, boys and girls. Um, and, oh, it's going to use all my freaking reds so that I can't drop Arnie Slays the Troll after this. What a piece of freaking crap. God, that's so annoying. All right, so I would imagine this eats the counter. It does not eat the counter. I think I know it all. I don't know a damn thing. We're going to see what they do here. Wow, he uh, phased them all out. That's too bad. So Arnie Slays the Troll would not have uh, gotten us what we wanted. So that sucks. We lose Vivian. Rather unfortunate. To be honest, I probably should have put Vivian's counters on Alana and Elena. Oh, they have all those counters? Oh, yeah, they have this. Yeah, forget it. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's... That was pretty cool of them, though. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, but yeah, they're... We're, ju we're just about done there, I think. I <laughs> just looked over, saw this huge trove of counters. Like, what? Yeah, they'll be able to pl play anything they wanted. Too bad, because we did have some nice interaction there. We just, we just didn't land it. Ah, oh, too bad. Too bad. Good game there to him. Up against Dean, a Zika. Honestly, like, is Halan and Elena hell tier? When, whenever I hear people talking about hell tier, I never see Halan and Elena. I feel like when I play Joda, I do not see anything but hell tier. But, like, when I don't play hell tier, I will often face hell tier people. Does that happen for you guys, too? Like, I like I swear. You know, um, I think we can't take that, though. Uh, I think we might be able to take this one. We go first. We can get into Lanowar Loam Speaker right away. Uh, yep, past turn. Sorry, I'm not dropping this. For X equals zero. Alright. Yep. Okay. Um, not terrible. Um, we're still dropping the Loam Speaker here. Um... A land would be pretty cool. It could get Halana and Elena down. Wow, we do get Halana and Elena down. I think we go for that, right? I mean, we could do Kodama and Elvish Mystic also. Um, do we do Halana and Elena? I think so. It could get um, washed away. They do have the... It, it's always freaking washed away, dude, I swear. Um, that card, it, it's interesting whether or not that should be usable in Commander. Because, I mean... It's good, you know, there, you only have one of it, but one island guaranteed counter on the most important spell. Alright. Um, what do we do here? I like Kodama. Alright. This is going to start getting annoying, because they're going to get the Prismatic Bridge, I assume. Okay, so we don't have long to do anything, or to do stuff. Let's see, we drop that. Um, I think we drop this on X equals 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, yes? Yes? Uh, no, I think X equals 3, sorry, because we need to have Tamiyo safe keeping up my bed. Okay, I did it. I did it, boys and girls, I did it. Okay, um, yep. And now we attack with, uh, this and this, that's all. We get a land, we like that, forest, okay. We're doing it. Wow, the frame rate. Okay, billion dollar company, by the way. All right. 
That's Liliana Dreadhorde General. Kind of sucks, but we can um, sacrifice who? Health Collector and I think it's, yeah, I think it's those two. This gives Modified Creatures Trample. Honestly, I should have tapped the Lanowar Loam Speaker for um, the mana to hold up uh, Tamios through their main phase here. That was a mistake. Okay, they paid two life for that. Binding of the Old Gods, gosh. Yeah, Wildwood Scourge is good. It's making him think. Wow. This one's really good. And this one's really good, too. What, what am I going to do here? Christ almighty, dude. Or do you want to just take back that play? God. Good job, fucking idiot. All right. Um, Let's see. Okay. Um, this is at two, so we can do this. We can do Elvish Mystic, um, Rishkar, on one, two, yep, um, we're going to attack Liliana because it would be ridiculous to not do that, and we have to pray that they whiff here. That's the only way we stand any chance. That exiles target non-land permanent. We do have Tamiyo safekeeping open. Thank goodness gracious. Thank you, Lana. Yeah, I, I thought that really fit this person. I mean, that took a long time, man. Like, you could have played Yakety Sax, you know? Um, we, we need that. All right, looks like maybe they have an instant in hand, but it looks like it has a chance of surviving. As long as they don't exile, give it minus four, minus four. Wow, Skyclave Relic. Okay, we survived the turn probably? Gosh, they have huge mana, so we'll see what's in their hand. And portal to Phyrexia, something nuts like that. All right, well. What's this at? Two. Okay, so that... Um, we'll put the plus one, plus one counters on uh, that, I think. Yeah. Yep, that's good, because then the two goes here. And then this and this go here. There you go. We deal eight damage. We get a uh, commander tax back in the form of two green lands here. Wow, this, uh, dude, this client, I swear to God. Okay. Well. Could be worse. It doesn't necessarily draw them a lot of cards. Hellish Norn is good. It only kills one thing, um, but that might be good enough there. That Elish Norn is, yeah, because we can't get any counters out of Halan and Elena. So that's probably it. I don't know what we're going to draw here that would help us. I don't know if I'm running the Tarask in this deck. Um, I don't know how good that's going to be. We can get two counters on Halan and Elena, which isn't terrible. Um, and then do what with it? Not much, honestly. So why don't we just do it now so that at least we get it before combat. Um... Two counters on target creature. Uh, yep, that would be this. Oh, whenever I cast a non-creature spell, they draw a card. Okay, well, that's good stuff. Yep. Um, we'll just put it on that. Yeah, I, I think at this point we're done. Because we missed a turn there, and now the Prismatic Bridge just keeps going. So let's take a look at what they get here. Yeah, I think we're... Uh, that's uh, that's Shieldred. That's old Shieldred and old Elish Norn. I think we're just about good there. 
wow. Unfortunately, we didn't have, like... It, we could have kept up, maybe, if we had something like Vivian Reed to constantly, like, draw us an extra, you know, like curated card if you will because vivian reed pluses to um look at top four cards of the library you can uh bring a uh, creature or land into hand that's super good maybe it would have helped up keep up with the prismatic bridge yeah that was too much though i don't have a lot of artifact and enchantment removal in here i have kogla when it attacks I have, I, am I running Titan of Industry? I, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Um, which is a genius thing to say. You could probably say that about just about anything. We will take this. Absolutely. Rockfall Veil first. Got Ilharg. I, gosh, I love Ilharg, man. That card is so cool. We don't really have anything to do super well alongside Ilharg right now. Bringing in Defiler of Vigor after it isn't the worst thing in the world. It's not, like, super good or anything. Um, that. We have double red, so we'll put that on green. There you go. Not terrible at all. I'd say we start with Renata. Of all the things I see here, arguably it's the least valuable. And it can give us a little bit of a bonus playing it before our commander, because each other creature we control enters the battlefield... With an additional plus one plus one counter, that's good with Halan and Elena. There you go. They decide they decide not to swing for zero. Chicken. Bok bok. Too bad. Uh, you gotta swing for zero, man. Maybe they have a, a, a three mana play to make. Can they make a food token? Oh, they could make the food token. Okay, that's yeah. I guess I'll allow it. That's reasonable. There you go, buddy. You'll get away with that one. Very nice. They get a nice animation there. Um, if we don't get a land, that kind of stinks, not gonna lie. <sighs> okay, we do get the land. Do I drop Ilharg here, or do I drop Halan and Elena? Um, it has resistance to dying and being exiled. I mean, it doesn't, but it does, but it doesn't, but it does. Thank you. So our commander didn't make that happen, and then, um, or had that happen to it. When that dies or is put into exile, um, we can put it into our library. Third from the top. There it is. It's nice that that's not only when it dies, but when it's exiled as well. Kinnon. Oh, boy. Okay. Well. Once again, another land would be nice so that we could go Halan and Elena and have Heroic Intervention backing up. Oh, Clothis. I really like that card, yeah? I would like to get it against a graveyard deck, too. Ooh, that would be the best. Um, okay. A2 life. Yeah, because we have Halan and Elena coming in, backed up by um, Heroic Intervention. That's actually so good right now. We're so grateful for that. That would be no attacks? Uh, that would be yes attacks. Right, they have five power on the field. That's six. I, I, I think we can, uh, yeah, go for that one there. Heroic Intervention at the ready. Okay, this, uh, this could be ugly. Let's uh, hope it's not super ugly. That is... Uh, well, I mean, they dig it... Oh, well, they got Brainstorm, but they're just about tapped out. They can't use this to tap for mana right now. Okay, so... I mean, you know, they still get to go again next turn. But this is going to attack um, as big. One, two, three, four, five, six... Um, okay. Wow, okay. That's not untapped, or else we could have gone Defiler into Kodama. We do Defiler. Um, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. That. I think we... Do we attack? 
Um, we attack with those two. That's 18. This is not trampling, though, so this wouldn't make it lethal. I'm not going to lose the commander to a... Or honestly, I should have attacked, right? Because they can't actually kill it. Eh, they could have double blocked it. Okay, like, are you going to win or something? Like... Is that Ulamog? That's Ulamog. And this, he's going to destroy everything, and I just tapped too much for Heroic and... Oh, dude. Oh, if only that land had entered untapped. Oh, no, that stinks, man. That stinks. That's... All right. They. That's it. Good game. They, uh, they got what they needed there. Yeah, that's it. They're going to kill one creature there. Ulamog is going to exile the other two. That's... Yeah. Uh Good game. Oh, man. That's not how we wanted that to end. Oh, too bad. Damn. Renata, the one that we just played there, that every creature we uh, have entered the battlefield enters with an additional plus one, plus one counter. Um, that's probably going to come out for some of those extra combat phase cards. Aiden says, I hope one day MTG Arena can add all the cards from all set. Like, Vigor. From battle, oh vigor! That's an that might be an old card. Is that one that has like graveyard tech on it, and it has a a tombstone in the upper left hand next to its name? That's like an old ass card design. Wow. Um, I think we will take this honestly. Okay. Well, he he wound up liking those cards. Okay. Um. Sorry. Yep. Yep. Bass. Um. So. I guess we can put Cold Steel Heart on red since I have like so much green. Oh wow, that's good. That is big good. We're gonna do that. Hey, I'll take it. Drop that. Pass turn. Um. Up. Oh, yep. Sorry. Space bar. Okay. Um. So, okay. So we do Domri Anarcha Bolas into Cold Steel Heart, I think. That increases our mana capacity four, five, six. Um, do we do that? They only have green open, so we might want to get in that protection against counters while we can. Um, is that what we do? Vivian Reed is kind of nice, too, here. Um, I kind of like Domri, to be honest. Uh, yep. Okay, that. Doesn't matter which one, that. Put that on red. Thank you. Okay, not bad there. We increased our mana capacity at th from three at the beginning of the turn to... Six now, not terrible. Okay, is it in their graveyard? No, they brought it back again. Okay, all right. Um, do we kill Ascanta? I don't know about that, honestly. I'm kind of okay with uh dropping Vivian Reed here. A land drop would be good. We did not get that. Although, these cards are both very good. I kind of want a tally. Not gonna lie. I... I, I, I just like the guy. Okay, let's see. Um...
I'd say we start with Cranko and Halana and Elena. We have Tamios up, which protects any permanent with Hexproof and Indestructible. Okay, they draw two cards with that. It costed them a bunch of their mana. Lanoir, nice. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, well, let's check out... Okay, their graveyard only has two in it right now, so start with this. We don't need to worry about um, Search for Azkanta yet. That's the only uh, consideration to make there. So that's very nice. Domri. Make it so that he can't counter my stuff, please. Thank you. And we still have three mana. So he could return this to our hand with, like, divide by zero. But that's why we uh, yeah, are so happy to have Domri on the field there. It looks like uh, he's taking a second. That border around Domri means that it has protection from being countered. He's looking at our Planeswalkers here. Can he return target spell to its owner's hand? Because he cannot counter it. There you go. He has a counter in hand, but he can't use it. We like that a lot. He also can't counter that. Domri, plus one, add red or green creature spells. We cast can't be countered this turn. It is definitely coming into handy here. Look at this. Look at, look at, look at that. And he nices us. Oh, thanks. All right, yep, we do that. We get loads of blockers. Doesn't mean we won't get wiped or anything. We are up against, uh, you know, blue. They could very well rivers rebuke us. We only have five lands. That does suck. It will be hard to build back from Rivers Rebuke. All right. Now we can fight that against whatever they bring down to uh, get rid of that. Witness protection on that. Okay, that's fine because that's a witness protection that didn't go on a tally. I mean, hell, we can um, we can get Kogla down, and then when it can attack, we can start uh, killing some artifacts and enchantments. Um, let's start with Vivian. I think we'll plus. Although honestly, I should have minused her. Kill oh, you know what? Silverback. Yeah, forget it. That's really good. That's really good. Um, what do we start with? Um, is it Silverback? I think it's Silverback. They can't counter it. Oh, okay. A trample, and whenever a creature takes damage... Oh, wow. Wow, what a cool card, man. All right. Um, all right. Um, well, we are going to attack with all those things. I see no reason not to. Okay, so it looks like perhaps a better play there would have been to minus Vivian on, um, would it be on Halan and Elena? Okay. Well, now they can cast one spell for free, right? You Once during each of your turns. Okay, that was not their free spell. Maybe they're looking for it. Okay. I mean, once again, Rivers Rebuke. Ginger Taxius is fine. Yep, good game. To us, we deserve it. We deserve it. Or was maybe that was his free cast off of the uh, library? Nevertheless, good game. Okay, not bad. Yeah, we had some pretty good Planeswalker action there, and we didn't even get the Itali. For the record, we were about to uh, cast Itali there. I think use Silverback Elder to... Uh, destroy this right and then have halan and elena give a tally haste swing in get some more casts maybe even proc silverback eldermore with those free casts off a of tally maybe not maybe we would just uh, reveal two lands off of uh, the libraries but nevertheless i just like having those uh cards in my hand like i can sit there and wonder what i can do with them all right we get that too long didn't read <laughs> there you go yeah i'm not gonna <laughs> Still don't know what that card does to this day. Uh, maybe one day I'll be interested. I don't know. Uh, 
Oh, let's go, boys and girls. Running Halan and Elena Brawl. Trying to get some nice uh, some nice casts out of a tally. I, uh, I got a nice little performance out of Vivian Monster's Advocate. That's the, uh, the Vivian read that wasn't the one that we were just playing. Or the one that was just in our hand, the other Vivian 5. Plus ones to give you like a 3-3 three, three beast with like your share of a reach, vigilance, or trample counter. Minuses that whenever you cast a creature spell, you search your library for a creature with lesser mana value. Put that onto the field. That's pretty cool. We'll keep this, I think. Um, this first, then Lair of the Hydra, drop Hajar. Then that's probably Gwenna, I would think. Hajar is really nice because it's a um a preset layer of security. Oh, preset as in we put it onto the field before Halana and Elena goes down, right? Pretty nice to invest in their security before they touch the board. Um Okay, that this I would assume they have swords to mana tithe wow mana tithe all right very well well that would have been nice to have Rishgar is still is still nice too um because um creatures we control with a, a counter on it have a yep that which is pretty good and it can be any counter it doesn't have to be plus one plus one counters it probably will be in this deck of course but yeah, not bad. Um, so what do we do here? Um, do we drop Halan and Elena and attack through that? I think so. Uh, yep. Very nice. Okay. Next turn, that's probably... Right now, my plan is drop Kodama of the West Tree. Have it accept Halana's counters. Although, honestly, Galta is kind of interesting, too. Because, like, that will necessitate doing something, and, like, yeah, it's going to be tough for them to deal with it. Uh, yeah, definitely Galta now. Right? Is it Galta? Hang on. If this brings down two, four mana onto the field. So can I do this for... I could do... Hang on. I could do... Um, it doesn't really matter. Whatever. This, 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 this... Okay. All right. Bring the paint. Yes, sir. Yet. Yeah. Roger that, Aiden. Oh, man, that was pretty good. I thought I was going to just drop straight Galta, but yeah, it's Galta. That cost reduction is so powerful, man. The fact that you can do that. Um, Wait, what? Then just wait. What? Can I not activate abilities or activate abilities of artifacts, creatures, or enchantments on their turn? Okay, yeah. So Hajar there, um, sacrifice him. Creatures we or legendary creatures we control gain indestructible. Yeah, unfortunately, that happened. That sucks. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Um, 
we can't really do cultivate into do i drop toski now or do i do cultivate into uh kodama i think we'll do cultivate into kodama honestly um do we need any red eh might as well get red Okay, there you go. They have one card in hand. Hopefully it's not super good. Well, okay, two. Well, Winoda's going to get them more cards, so there you go. Jesus, what is that good? Would deal damage, it deals double that damage. Crap, okay, we could still block that. Yeah, that's really good. That's big good, and that is... We're not going to be able to uh, get through, unfortunately. That's it. Good game. Damn, they got it. They freaking got it, man. That's it. Good game. All they have to do is block a little bit of that. He's going to block it with one more. Is he, like, being cute or something and making me think, Oh, he's going to actually do it? Like, no, you're not obviously not going to actually do that. Okay. Oh, good game. Yeah, we unfortunately lost there. That sucks. Oh, I wish I had it, Richard. I, I would probably use it to help myself instead of... <laughs> Are you going to attack? All right, there you go, buddy. Good game. Um, oh, yeah, this uh, this thing makes it so that, uh, yeah, doubles the damage stuff deals. That's uh, that's really good. I only have that in my uh, Raga Draga um, deck. That little red-green commander that, like, gives mana dorks plus two, plus two. And then when they attack, they, like, untap. It's it's kind of a fun deck to play, not going to lie. That's a, a nice little... uh kill card in that deck that otherwise it wouldn't see a whole heck of a lot of play. I have a bunch of them because I was opening up a lot of packs of like Ixalan for dinosaurs, you know. So wound up with like three or something of those for no reason. It's like a seven cost or what the hell am I going to put like more than two of that in a deck with a deck if anything, you know. But yeah. Kind of nice that I actually have a use for it. Raga Draga. Yeah, if only that card effect worked for your... Damn, dude. Damn, man. Yep. Uh, life is hard tonight, not gonna lie. Um, Okay, we have... We have a dork. We have two sources of interaction. Do we try this? I'm gonna try it. Semi-coherent, two-mana dork. Great Henge, not terrible. We'll have to work towards it. But it is good. We drop that. Yep, we can't block that. They get to draw a discard. Nice. They might play nothing so that flips over to Knight. If they play something... Okay, we really wanted them to uh, play something there. Um, we're going to put that on red, I guess. Um, they're probably going to counter the commander. We're going to go Rhythm of the Wild. That actually resolves. Nothing past turn. Okay, not going to lie. Getting Rhythm of the Wild down against blue... I. I don't know if it's going to be super effective in this game, but, like, we did it, okay? Um, a land would be incredible. It doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. Um, do we do that, you know? Um, we actually need that. We need it for freaking Halana Lea. That's how bad we need it. Okay, they attacked with that. Did that have to attack? 
Because can't we swing in at this? We can nearly swing in at it. We can't actually kill it, which kind of sucks. Um, but we uh, play this, I guess. Do we give it haste? Um, give it the plus one, plus one counter. Gosh, Ren and 7. Okay, the token that it's going to make is only 5-5. Five, five. That's still good, of course. But we should be able to kill them. We should be able to do something here. I have to big think, okay? I think we can big think this one. Um. Alright. I think we've come to some sort of uh, arrangement of what to do here. Alright. Um, it starts with, um, okay. Starts with going to combat. Now we attack. We put on full control. We declare our attack. Um, is it on that? Honestly, no, it's on, um, it's on this that they can't even plus it next turn. All right, now we do this. We, uh, fight. Um, okay, where is it? Target creature we control. Fights to a creature we don't control. That one. Um, yes. Oh, I have to submit. Sorry, I'm still on full control. Okay, my bad. It was going a little less slower than I thought. Alright. Thank you for sticking with me there. I didn't... We couldn't allow them to declare it as a blocker and then fight because, uh, right, the attack would still be cancelled unless it had trample. Okay. They have to discard here. Elder freaking Gargaroth. God, dude. All right. We're we're trying, boys and girls. We we really freaking are. Um, let's see. I that could probably Domri into Great Henge. You can see your face when I've beaten you. Honestly, I think not. I think it's probably into this one. I wasn't sure if I wanted to minus Domri because then it dies to this. You do not write Which kind of stinks because we don't know that they don't have counters. They're not really using them, but... Okay, so what are they going to kill with that? So they, if they kill that, we can still drop the Great Henge? Okay. Honestly, not terrible that we can drop the freaking Great Henge. Okay. Pretty good, all things considered. One, two, three, four, five is not... Or, well, that is enough to play Kogla, honestly. That is enough to play Kogla. And we're going to give it haste, which is actually, like, super good. So let's do um, the Great Henge first, since it's mana neutral. Right? And then we go right into Kogla. Yep, haste. Boom, the only uh, thing it can do. Oh, this is a good turn. And we're going to kill the Arcane Signet, and we're going to kill the uh, Ugin here. Boom, before it can start putting in creatures. Take away from their mana capacity. Take away this card advantage Planeswalker. That was good. We've got some really nice enchantments on the field right now. And only four lands. So if they drop River's Rebuke, that really sucks for us. Okay. 
But, like, if they have artifacts and enchantments that might be good for them, they have to be really careful because of Kogla. Alright, we're gonna do that. Um, green. We're going to start with, um, Halana and Elena, I think, yes. It can't be countered. We like that a whole lot. Um, this, too. That's going to receive Halan and Elena's counters. Alright, that attacks you, that attacks you. Um, yes, that attacks you. There you go. We did it. Okay, what, what exactly is that going to do? You return target non-land permanent we control. Alright, what goes away? We have two layers of anti-counter technology. We have Rhythm of the Wild, creature spells you control can't be countered. We got Domri Erica Bolas, plus ones, creature spells you cast this turn can't be countered. Good stuff. Alright, they get rid of Kogla. Okay, I mean... If we can get it onto the field again, it can fight target creature. All right, we uh, pass the turn. There you go. They've still got Tamio here. Annoying, but losing its effectiveness as we get more and more creatures on the field. They only have four counters on it, so if they were going to create a, a a copy of something from their uh, graveyard here. Oh, yep, sorry, my bad. Let me space bar through. Sorry, I was a little slow there. All right, what are they going to get here? It's freaking Rivers Rebuke. All right, well, we have to win now. Let's see, we have loads of... Uh... Can we win? 9-14... Um, and then this would be 21. Um, we could actually put this on this for... Um, let's see. Um, the River's Rebuke is going to be pretty rough here. Um, but if we can kill their Planeswalkers, that might be really good. Um, wh why don't we start by um, plussing this. Are you okay? Alright. We're going to start by plussing. We're going to... Uh... Do we equip that? Um, I, I don't think so, honestly. Eh, yeah. Okay. We'll equip this. To you. We won't draw the card here because of their Narset. Unfortunately. Um, haste. No sense in not giving a haste. So it's going to kind of stink recovering from the uh, the board wipe a little bit. Um, oh, shoot. I shouldn't have given a haste. That was my bad. I should have given it the extra counter. That was my bad. Um, so 18. Do we win here? I think we win, right? We just attack. Sharknado. Well, they get a block. All right, that stinks. Um, and they'll Rivers Rebuke, but at least we have some amount of lands here. All right, I gotta go pick up my dog, so let me uh, space bar for them. Okay. Okay. So they reverse rebuke. Takes about all their turn. They only have one. It stinks, but um, we have a land drop. Um, we have some amount of things that we can do here. I would say Rhythm of the Wild is probably going to be one of them. My words fall on a forge your memory. 
they made a copy of freaking Elder Gargaroth. That's something. Um, so that... Um, is that Rhythm of the Wild, or is that maybe we start out with Domri? Mm, Domri kind of dies. Um, do we hit Kogla on that? Um, one, two, three, four. So that's probably, um, Leafkin with haste. This haste? Is that hasted? Um, yeah, hasted. Um, cultivate. Yep, okay, another land. Yes, please. Thank you. <laughs> There you go. We already got our land drop, so. We'll have to discard. Who do I discard? Maybe Rishkar at this point. Kind of annoying that they'll get a swing in with the Elder Gargaroth. It's not the worst thing in the world or anything. Definitely annoying, though. Do we start out with Kogla and then go Great Henge? We'll have the mana. Kogla will reduce the cost of the Great Henge by a whole heck of a lot. And the Great Henge could get countered because it's not a creature spell. Not protected by Rhythm of the Wild, but... I think we've got to try something. Um, do we start with it? Uh, yes, yeah, start with it. We'll have it enter the battlefield with a plus one, plus one counter so that if this fight is successful, it survives. Does it happen? Does it happen? It happens! Yes! Okay, that's good. That's definitely much better than bad. Um, Great Henge? Yeah. Try the Great Henge. That would be lovely if that resolved. That actually resolved. That's pretty insane to me. Um, well, we're going to do this. Ooh, wow, we got that one. Wow. Wow. Holy crap. We did it. I wonder, I guess they didn't have counters in hand, because if they didn't counter the Great Henge, like, holy goodness, wow. We came back from the River's Rebuke. It was because we managed to get together a decent amount of lands. Wow. Oh, that feels good, boys. Thank you, Richard. Wow, with the with the gorilla emotes. Yeah, Kogla is so good, man. Like that turn when Kogla came into play, it fought something and then it attacked with the haste it just got from Halan and Elena. So when it attacks, it destroys target artifact and enchantment. That was when we got their arcane signet, reducing their mana capacity, and then it killed their Ugin the Inevitable. Inevitable. Whatever, ineffable. Is that it? I think it is. Either way, the fact that Kogla can come in and go like zero for three is so good. Like, that's why I use that card so much. It's just, damn, man. And, like, six mana for it is expensive, but it's really not that bad. And, like, it, it'll get you value, boys and girls. I can promise you that. All right, wow. I'm going to take a look at it. Okay, good. All right. Um, We go first... But we don't have the best stuff here. It's not terrible. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna try it. That is very good. Um yeah, that's big good because um yeah. Otherwise with this entering tap next turn, we wouldn't have been able to cast um Krinka Workwena. 
I think we'll go Kranko. We'll get, um, I guess red here so that we have double both. I mean, honestly, we only need one red, one red right now because, I mean, Vivian does have triple green. We don't know if we're going to lose Lanoir Elves. Oh man, they're going to give Cranko minus. Not the worst thing in the world. I mean, better than them giving our uh, our commander, I guess. I don't know. Um, what do we do here? Is it Toski, Gwenna? Maybe it's even Vivian Reed, honestly. Um, oh, I am gonna love tearing this hang on. To the One, ground. two, three... Four, five, uh, yeah. It, it doesn't make a difference to uh, kill their Lanoir Elves. They're going to be able to cast their commander no matter what. That does suck. We're fit enough to survive. That does suck. So a land would be extremely nice here. Because um, then we could go Vivian Reed and Minus to um, kill their commander. One of our few artifact or enchantment <laughs> removals that we have. They do have one blue, so they could wash away. Like, we've got to be ready for that. Um, we do this, I guess? I think this is going to be no attack. We're going to put four plus one plus one counters on that. Wow, okay, they countered that. Well, that would have been used for, uh, yeah, whatever then. We'll uh, pass the turn on that one. We really need the land. Vivian Reed, boys and girls, we need it. We need them to whiff on Golos. River's Rebuke. God damn it. Yep, that's it. Good game. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, gosh. They just straight rivers rebuked. Yeah. Nothing that we're going to do with those three lands there. <laughs> Not when they have Golos going off every turn, I don't think. Wow. Brutal. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I agree. They would make a nice card, though. You get a lot of value out of those two things. Coggle and Vivian. They get so much value out of each one of those, man. And th those are like the cards, like the weird places where I hide my artifact and enchantment removal. You know, like some things like that. Titan of Industry. <sighs> Let's go, boys and girls. Happy to be... Uh, Jesus, Helena Elena has to be Hell I swear to God, dude. Like, I am way overmatched, like, a lot of the time with this commander. Pretty wildly. Okay, what do we do here? We have Clothis, this. It's all threes. They go first. I think I have to mulligan this. Uh, we can probably keep this one. We have, like, a one, two, three drop. Give this as good of a shot as we can here go um next turn it's probably beast caller is it gwenna i think it has to be gwenna next Kaito. Wow, okay. I won't let Kamigawa fill my face. Yep. Alright, they create their nice ninja. Unfortunately, we do not have a source of red. So we have to drop um we have to drop Gwenna right now. The attack. This is unblockable, so no point not attacking, and that was phased out. Cool. 
cool uh, style, by the way. Okay, they want their draw. I know something you don't know. Okay. Tapped. Does Gwenna survive? Maybe they're just debating who to kill there. Okay, well, we did draw the Source of Red. We, gosh, we love to see that, boys and girls. We really, really do. Um, we have to do this, um, so that way we can hold open the um, Tamiyo safekeeping here. Tails end. Wow, okay. Well, that definitely happened. We move it back to the command zone. We take a look at Kaito here. Two loyalty. Well, I would say we drop... Do we drop this? Yeah, I... I think we do drop that, honestly. Let's do that. X equals one. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Yeah, it got me being a little greedy there, so we can't get the uh, Tamiyo safekeeping. Probably should have done that one in main phase, too, since it wouldn't have made the difference between killing the Planeswalker or not. So that was sloppy play, I believe. Now this do they have white? Secret. Okay, they do have white there, so they can go Jota. Aya the Inexorable. Wow. Like are they are they going to exile Gwenna probably? Yeah. There you go. All right. Rather unfortunate. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I say we will drop this one. Mana number five, but we don't have anything uh too nice to do with it. So we just do that and we attack this one because we can kill it. There you go. That is freaking all we can do there, which really stinks. This is not looking good. Okay. I know something you don't know. Joda comes in as a six six, so casting our commander isn't really gonna do it. Um yeah, we're we're done here. We're, uh, that, that was amazing. But yeah, there's nothing that we're going to do against the Jota. It looks like they're saving up to be able to go Jota and then right into something else and maybe taking it a little slow, knowing that we're not really doing anything. I mean, I, Halan and Atlanta, like, we are getting overmatched up against, like, a ridiculous amount of Hell Q, to be honestly, to be perfectly honest. Like, because we can't compare to the value that Jota's going to get them without, like, pre established draw engines, like, one of our um, Vivian fives, not Vivian Arcbow Ranger, because that one won't really get us cards since we don't have a sideboard. Um, Guardian Project Toski, and we could start to make some value. Actually, less Toski, right? Because it's hard to attack through the uh, the big Jota legends. Halana and Elena sees Hellq, not Rusko. <laughs> Captain Eat, running to Ferry, who slows everything down to a crawl and nobody loves you. And why do I not get invited to game night? I can't figure it out. All right. Racer's ring first. Nice. Um, forest loam speaker. Nice. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then straight into a guardian project. Passes the turn. Do we go Guardian Project, or do we maybe go Rishgar so they counter that? Honestly, I want Guardian Project. It actually resolves. We'll see if it stays. Midnight Clock. All right. Um, do we drop this one? We have four mana. What do we do? Um... I think Commander's good here. All right, we, it's, it's always freaking wash away. That was stupid. 
I, I just wanted the proc out of a... Uh, it's always freaking wash away, I swear. All right, nevertheless, we do have two three-mana creatures in hand, so we can drop Stomping Ground untapped, get them both into play. Champion of Lamhold first. Do we do that, though? Because, like, we might be walking pretty hard into a board wipe if we do that. Um, yeah, we'll also play that. It's worth it instead of getting the one damage in there, I think. Telling you, man, I'm feeling the board wipe. I don't know if you are too. I'm feeling it. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, bigly. Um, let's see. What do we do? That tap. Do we do like um? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. So they could shark typhoon for X equals four. Can we make a big enough layer of the hydra? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so we can do layer of the hydra for X equals five. I think. Uh, and we'll just attack with that one because, um, yeah, I don't want the Shark Typhoon to kill Champion of Lamhole. All right, they destroy that one. We, we get the token. That's fine. Where exactly was that? Second from the top. Okay. They'll be waiting to counter that. I have no idea what that is. Um, what do we do here? All right. Nope shirt allows it, so make sure you say thank you to him. Um, do we do Cold Steel Heart? Honestly, no. I like um, Rishkar. All right, we will save um, this for you know, the end of their turn. Okay. We have like an emergency instant speed fight in our hand. We don't need it. We uh, cash in the clue token. Always an absolute exquisite joy facing the freaking blue-white do-nothing loser. God, dude. Can it, can it at least not take forever to suck to face you every time? And, and why why are they obsessed with that Wanderer avatar? Why? Is that like their preferred anime waifu body pillow character? Is it? I, yeah, I would think that their preferred anime waifu body body pillow character is Teferi. Um, okay. Um, oh, shit. No, no. Oh, damn it. No, I know. I know. The click. Freaking hit space bar as I was looking at it. I'm sorry. That was really dumb. That was a waste of two mana. Ugh, I know. I know. Um, okay. Well, um, why don't we... Let's see. Um, one, two, eight, ten. I can't trick us into um, lethal damage with that, so... Why don't we start with this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I think we'll start with guard. No, let's start with attacking. I was debating: do we start with guardian project or do we start with attacking? Because they're just gonna counter Halan and Elena. I think we'll do that. They can counter it. All right, they didn't. We'll uh, we'll do the same thing, except hopefully this time I'll actually remember to. Uh... Cash in the freaking clue token. That was still that was that was very poorly played. Alright, you gain X life and draw a lot of cards. Wow, okay. 
five cards. Goodness gracious. Well, they're looking for a board wipe. Their midnight clock is almost at 12. Alrun's freaking epiphany. God, at, at least that one gets exiled, though. The ones that um, Oracle of the Alpha gets them, like, those cards need to be uh, exiled, like, when they leave play. Holy God, uh, boys and girls, I, I I want to apologize to you for not conceding to the blue-white player when I brought up the concede menu earlier. I'm very sorry that I didn't concede already. They have four, five, six mana they can do something with. Scribe one top, four bottom, and then draw three cards. Wow. River's Rebuke. Well, um, we'll do that right now, I guess. That or the token just gets ruined, so. Alright, we have just about nothing there, and they're about to get their uh, Midnight Clock. So, they had to shuffle a hand of seven into their, gr into their library and then draw seven, so... They get the benefit of getting cards from their graveyard there. Yeah, that is pretty good. Um, I think we start with Guardian Project and then do, like, one thing. Do we have one thing to do after Guardian Project? Eh, Loam Speaker. Do we do that? Um, I, I don't know if we do that. We could probably do... Um, eh, Guardian Project might be the best, honestly. Um, do we do Loam Speaker or do we do, like, Signet into Hardened Skills? Just to get as many cards as we can out of our um, hand. So hopefully we get some nice uh, procs out of Guardian Project and we don't just lose it. My god, dude. Alright, they took Guardian Project. That definitely sucks. And some think time only um, what the heck do we do here? We start with this. All right, I, you know, if I didn't think that this would piss you guys off, I'm sorry, but I, I would be gone from here a long time ago. Like this is awful. Um, it loses all abilities. That kind of sucks. We don't need it to have all of its abilities. It does suck that it loses it, of course. Um, we'll put this on green. Okay, it loses all abilities. I mean, honestly, those aren't the best creatures. This one's kind of nice because it gets bigger, right? Um, whenever other creatures come into play, it gets the counters. Alright. Um... Great from graveyard to battlefield. There's from your graveyard or from a graveyard. From your graveyard. Okay, so we don't need to destroy that with Besaju. I think we'll honestly play Besaju here. Um, let's see. What do we do here? Probably um, start with Gwenna and then put in Rishkar.
Yep, Anna. Eh, yeah, those two I think are good. Just so that they get, uh, you know, some nice counters on them. Uh, no attacks past turn. Wow, gosh. And each one of those costs one less. Gosh, all right. Oh god. Search for a snow permanent card, legendary, put it into hand. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, at least you're liking something about this, dude. Day of Judgment. Wow, okay, well... Boys, at this point, they have Teferi. I think we're about done here. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to leave that. Bye-bye. Uh, oh, and then that? Forget it. Yeah, I made the decision before that one. That's the one that conjures them a card into their hand, like, every turn, and they don't have to discard, like, after that card gets cut. Yeah, that's... Wow. Wow, dude. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, an absolute waste of time. I'm <laughs> not even gonna lie. That was a waste of fucking time. I'm, I'm sorry that that had to happen. That's terrible. Thank you all for stopping by, boys and girls. I really appreciate having you guys here tonight. I should have conceded against that one a lot earlier. I always say it, boys and girls. Um, the quickest game against the blue-white player is the best game against the blue-white player. You know what's funny is, like, when I was playing Explorer, I would always say that, like, you know, playing against the blue-white player should come with some sort of warning beforehand. Like, you know, when you buy cigarettes and then it, like, you know, has the Surgeon General's warning and maybe, like, the pictures if you don't live in America. You know, the nice, awful pictures. Um, and then here in Historic Brawl, like, it does have the, um, you know, it does have the... Uh, the warnings on it. I really like that. It just like tells you, like you know, like the the next like X minutes are going to be a total waste because it's against you know like Teferi who slows the sunset. Oh, okay. All right, get. I got it out of my system. I feel better. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We feel better. Let's go. Let's do this. Um. Oh, that's a phenomenal top deck. We definitely had that one. Oh yeah. Um. Or actually, no. I think we need the um. I think. We need that here because it gives us four capacity for mana so that we can go Ronus Monument into the Karyatid here. Is that how to do it? If only you can actively avoid them. The problem is then, you know, <laughs> they wouldn't have Rusko running train over everybody if we could actively avoid them. <laughs> uh, unfortunately. Um, and then this. We like that. Put the uh, plus two on that. It's fine doesn't matter um the good news is that if everything lives we can get vivian out which is super good right just free creatures um i have no words to express how right it oh he's i mean yeah he's big right yep all right that's gonna kind of suck with their um first sliver not gonna lie um we're gonna have to do some really good stuff here um like maybe um Halana and Elena into Krenko? Is that what we do here? Um, Halana and Elena, and then um, Rishgar, honestly. We're going to do that. Um, target creature we control. This one, I got, yeah, this one. Okay. I did it. I did it. Now we tap, uh, oh, no, nope, we just do this. Yep, on this. Okay. Yeah, that Ronus Monument's honestly really good, and we lucked out and had a bunch of small creatures there. Over a little faster than I would have liked, but I don't know. We did so well that, you know, he would have had to do pretty darn well himself, which is as good as getting a good Cascade with the first sliver. 
But yeah, we had some nice plays coming in. Cranko would have been pretty good. Cranko or Goblin and Archimancer into Cranko would have been the best that we could get. Um, two procs of that Ronus Monument giving plus two, plus two, and trample to Halan and Elena each time, right? And then we give the uh, the big uh, haste encounters bonus to Cranko. Thank you, Richard. Yeah, that was that one was just fast, dude. We just got gifted the nice hand, and uh, he didn't cast his thing in time. <laughs> That was as procedurally generated a game as we're gonna get. <laughs> Happy to win it at least. I need my coins. You know, I got I got to get these coins, man. Trying to afford a couple twenty packs of Brothers War before the uh, the new set comes out, so I can get uh, golden packs off of Brothers War. Still got some uh, some cards I'd like to get from there. Don't remember them off of hand, but I do know that they exist. Okay, um, we go first. We have a, um, a tolerable mana situation, definitely. Um, layer of the Hydra here, into Beast Caller. Oh, we're up against Knights! Cool, I, that card's pretty darn cool. It's really freaking good. Yeah, he had the sense to quit. Unfortunately, we were a little too set up. He, he was going to have to hit the jackpot off of his first Sliver Cascade. Maybe into like a double striker or something. Um, well, we do this. No attacks. There you go. Okay. Whenever this attacks, another target knight you control gains indestructible until end of turn. That's quite good. Okay. Well, they can attack with the 2-3 uh, now, not the 1-2. They got their land drop, so they can't use this ability that costs 3. Oh, okay, fine. They can just give it uh, indestructible. All right, it doesn't have death touch, right? And nothing's going to give it death touch. Okay, so we'll just block it. It doesn't matter. Okay. Oh, if only we got an untapped land. Vivian Reed is really good, though. Uh, this. Do we just drop Halan and Elena? I think so. Oh, it looks like it might not make it. We had to do something, okay? Yeah, it looks like it just drops dead. Yep, too bad. Uh, move it to the command zone. We have some nice cards in here to win without the commander at all, to be honest. Um, that will be no attacks, because that is pretty nicely sized at the moment, 4-4. Four, four. That has Death Touch, so I can't get the block there. They can only really attack with the 2-4 here. Still perfectly good. They get to uh, trigger their commander's ability with that. Yep, we're not blocking that. I'll block that. Oh, right, because he just gives an indestructible. Right, right. Okay, yep, well, still blocking it. Uh, yep, we'll uh, block that. Goodness. All right. What do we do here, man? I don't think Silverback Elder is the play. I think, I think it might be Vivian Monsters Advocate make a uh, make a creature. Okay, um, Vigilance Counter. Yes, Vigilance Counter. We don't have any mana to put into that, so decline. There you go. No attacks past turn. 
We gotta protect the queen, boys. We gotta protect the queen. We see Hajar on the top of the library. It's a good card. We need a land, but I mean, yeah, it's a good card. I'm thinking, what creatures do we have that are like three or four? Wi oh, damn it. That kills target freaking creature or plane. Oh, that sucks. I mean, you know, that's still a uh, that's still a kill spell that could have been uh, put towards Silverback or uh, Alana and Elena. Hell, Vivian Reed. He made this indestructible. All right. Um... We block that? No, because it's indestructible. What do we do here? Um, do I maybe block a... You know what? We can block this, I think, because then he has to sacrifice this, right? He finally gets rid of it. We put the counters on um, the Vigilance. All right, we got Hajar. That's good. Okay. Um, but, like, Silverback Elder would be really good. Goblin and Archimancer would be pretty good. Is this a legend? It's not a legend. Okay, so um, Goblin and Archimancer, I think, is really good. Um, do we do Goblin and Archimancer? Maybe Rhythm of the Wild? Um Uh, yep. We'll, uh, we'll pay one. Uh, now Rhythm of the Wild, I think. And we'll attack with uh, both of those. Yes. This is a nice creature. 5-5 five, five Vigilance ain't nothing, you know? So that's going to necessitate a kill spell, and it's a token, you know. There you go. It drafts them freaking murderous riders. That's really wild. That's really wild. These These alchemy commanders are a bit much. Like, just the, the constant card advantage is, like, yeah, it's, it's leveling up the game, like, a little wild. Like, a little too early. That Rusko Crucius. Alright. Um, and this has Death Touch. Um, do we block with Vivian Reed? Um... Do we block it? Honestly, no. I, th I think I might like to get Vivian Reed out. We might even be able to do Vivian Reed, get a land, and then drop Hajar. Okay, we got that, which is really good because we can kill their commander. That's happening right now. Um, do they have artifacts, actually? No, nothing has, happens to be an artifact, right? Okay, that's too bad. Um, yep, that. Um, you know what? Do we give it haste? Uh, no. Plus one, plus one counter. Make them have to, uh, make them have to invest a kill spell into it. We kill their commander. Uh, yep, we have nothing to pay for that. God, that com I swear to God, that commander drafting the murderous riders is pretty freaking wild. Uh, that's that's probably about it. I I can't really do anything. 
e even if I keep that untapped, we just block with it and we have, like, even less nothing. <sighs> Boys, that's that's a bit freaking much. Those, are, those get drafted by their commander whenever any knight attacks. Look at, look, that's actually insane. Like, a lot of these things are good. Like, I get, like, you know, out of 15 cards, you see there that it has, like, they're all good. That commander's a four drop. Rusko takes a lot of heat. This and Crucius should be there with it. Honestly, I, I wonder if, like, Wizards of the Coast is fine with Rusko getting all the heat and they don't care just because, like, things like this are flying under the radar. Like, who's talking about auto-conceding to this, you know? And then people are like, oh, yeah, that's cool. I mean, either way, you know, good game. But it's it's just... It, it's tough seeing the power go up and then the cards that I like, you know? Like, just kind of get left behind. Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't care. They're, they're just going to power up and win. I, I don't care. Okay, well, um, we'll see what they're doing. Maybe they can't believe <laughs> that I just didn't do anything. Yeah, it's a good guy. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I just don't care. Negative three. Nice. Yeah, good play. Good play. Yeah, because we lose Goblin and Archimancer, it makes it it makes it hard to um cast Vivian Reed or these. We, it we needed the lands. the The land situation was a little dire there on four lands plus the dork from um from what's it called? Jugan defends the temple. It, it was pretty tough there. Ah, uh, so good game to them, you know, but that, that, I'm telling you, man, that commander, like, drafting them, like, crazy cards into their hand each turn is nuts. The Cavalier of Night, too, is pretty insane. Speak of the Devil, Rusko, Clockmaker, right, five... Four, three, two, one. It looks like he, uh, yep, we're just going to keep. All right, good. Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, that's a cool pet, though. Hang on. Hang on, let's see this. I like, that looks like Elish Norn. Is that like an Elish Norn type pet or something? That's mad nice. That's pretty cool. There you go, boys and girls. Oh, yes, we're dropping the Concede against Rusko. We're doing it just after they play that They feel like this person, oh, disaster mine. He's finally going to let me play my degenerate pile of garbage. Oh, no. Oh, God, I love it, boys and girls. Just getting that little extra oomph on them with the uh, insult and injury there. Because uh, they know that people are going to concede after them. The, the real trick is to make them think that they're actually going to have the game. Reminds me of someone who just said that it would be nice if we could have a void list. I think there would be a lot of a void list that look very similar. It, Helena and Elena has to be hell cute, dude. I'm facing so many of these people, I swear. Um, we can't take this. The, the Lana War Elves is really nice, but... Is this it? We could probably try this. Um, get rid of the Terra Mount Velus. It's just way too far out. Yep, that one. Past turn. Um, okay, that one. This. There you go. Ah, uh, what will that be? Oron Reef Ooze? Um, Domery's actually pretty good here. Helping the creatures not get countered is kind of huge right there. I mean, we're up against freaking, you know, Teferi, hero of uh, degenerate neckbeards. Oh, God. So, yeah, we're, we're going to need that protection. Hope he survives, man. Pray for Domery. We need him. Pray, pray, pray for Domery.
Okay, that's definitely interesting. We're gonna do um, Oron Reef Ooze into um, into Arnie Slays the Troll, I think. Looks like Arnie Slays the Troll probably gets countered. Yep, he puts a counter on himself. We like that. This. Alright, it gets swords to plowshares. That sucks. Um, but next turn, Arnie Slays the Troll will give us an extra red mana. So we'll have that. Four, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Capacity for mana. If we draw a land and we get number seven, we could do like Halan and Elena plus something else. Maybe plus Franco so that we get a lot of um, blockers. All right, um, that. We won't answer to other guilds. I don't think we can do Kodama because I need to be able to protect Krenko. I will call you what's easy. Oh, thank you. Good. Oh, Richard. Oh, we we got to uh we got to protect Domri, dude. We got to protect Domri. Um do that. Do we do um Okay, that actually resolved. We don't think that they don't have counters in hand. I wonder if they're going to drop to Fairy here. Okay, well, they can't minus it to get rid of Cranko. Okay. They untap two lands. All right. That do we do Halan and Elena or do we do um <clears throat> I think it's Halan and Elena, honestly. Okay, we actually get that. Let's see if we can actually get an attack in. We're going after Teferi. We get the attack, so we get a lot of tokens. Okay, the good news is we still get the tokens. Right? That's better. Because, I mean, we're, we're look at this freaking mana, dude. Like, this is pretty wild. Alright, so the fourth. Yeah, that's a big deal. Darmory and Akabolas is nice with all those tokens, right? The 1-1s one -ones get the plus 1, plus 1 each. Makes it worth it for them to wipe the board there. And really, all they'd be getting rid of is, you know, Halan and Elena. And one Kranko prop, but yeah. Freaking Rivers Rebuke. That's uh, that's a joy, boys and girls, because now they untap. That's uh, that's bad. You call it anarchy. For me, it's just business. I've lived with animals my entire life. Explains a lot, actually. All right, that's a nice drop that we have there in Lanawar Loam Speaker. It doesn't just increase our mana capacity, but uh, gets a nice block on the only creature that they have ready to attack. Gosh, we would love... I don't know, some mana... Um, Let's skip to the good part. Or a chance to have Kodama shine. It's not looking too good because they have Teferi Hero of Dominaria constantly ticking up, and we're not really doing anything about it. I think at this point, honestly, we, Blue White has been setting up enough. That's probably about it, dude. You can call me whatever. I, I don't. Uh, you'll have to explain why that's me every time. I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, that's right. The in game name is Disaster Mine. All right. Is that going to minus to, like, send something back? Yeah, this is a. Uh...
we'll see what we draw, but like, boys and girls, do, do you think that like we have a chance here? Yep, that was great. An absolute joy. I I hope we get some uh, some decent wins. <laughs> Not gonna lie in this one. I would love to have an actual contest up against somebody this instead of just like weirdly either taking forced wins or giving forced losses. Let's go, boys and girls. Let's actually try to uh let's actually try to do this. Oh, shoot, I almost forgot. It's been a while. Don't forget to like the stream if you haven't already, because I appreciate anyone who's here, anyone who's uh, lurking, watching me pre-recorded, watching me live. Really appreciate all you guys. The likes help get the stream out to a lot of people. So thank you so much for helping with that, man. Um, I, it, This has got to be a cruel joke. This has got to be a cruel joke. No, I'm sorry, no. Ah, <sighs> let's go, boys and girls! Wow, I'm uh, I'm getting tired, but we're going to uh, we're gonna pull through. We're gonna get another good game. How's OBS looking? Two hours forty six. Wow. Okay, that was a little less. Bosri Cat. Well, blinking, you miss it, boys and girls. It's gonna be up against Bosri Cat. So if this game goes long, then we have a chance. Otherwise, we uh <laughs> probably don't. Um, we mulligan that one. I take this one. We go second against Bosri. That really sucks because they're freaking aggro. Um, we're going to do what we can, but... Yeah, they're aggro. that so that next turn maybe we can go um hajar and then arnie slays the troll oh that sucks all right um that's probably cranko honestly is that cranko i think so Okay, interesting. Um, no blockers. Okay, hang on. Hang on. How the heck do we do this? We could do hardened scales, attack with Cranko. It gets two plus one plus one counters. It becomes a three, four. Then we use Arnie Slays the Troll to fight that. Um, you know what? We do pay the one. Um, yep. Oh, shoot. No, I can't. I can't pay two. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Shit. You know what? Fine. Whatever. Ah, damn it. it. It actually did it. Because he still survives this one. We get a bunch of chump blockers because they're going to drop Basri Cat and, like, get a whole bunch of attacks in. Although they just win, right? So, yeah, I think they just win. Because all the things get plus. Yeah, that's that's great. All right, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Freaking all right, dude. All right, it looks like since he played that, it wouldn't have made a difference. Um, we still would have been at about, like, negative five or something instead. Right? Everything will still would have had plus one, plus one. Yeah, the Bosri matchup is so tough, dude, because you have to have a, a a wipe, and you have to have it, like, ready, man. I mean, or just, you know, be one of these people running, like, removal tribal, then you'll probably be good if you can establish card advantage over them. Ah. <sighs> Up against Echoes with the really cool um, Oracle of the Alpha avatar. Okay. Um, we could take it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, that's pretty good. Um, we'll do a uh, Leaf Kindred. Okay, next up is what? Jugan and then Llanowar Elf? They opted to not play Raphine. Oh, they don't have black. Okay. Um, that. Um. Okay, they uh, counter that. That's fine. You know, we, we would like to have it, but that's it's just Jugan defends the temple. It's not the worst thing in the world. Um, okay. What now? Probably not Halan and Elena. Um, do we do Halan and Elena? Um, or do we maybe do this and then... Um, nah, I'd kind of like that to fight that. Let's just do that. Let's do Halan and Elena. Start running them through their counters. It's pretty obvious. Wow, it actually lives wild. Well, it's not pretty obvious. Look at that. Alright, we attack. Did not think that would make it to the field. Maybe they'll wipe the board? Having a hard time believing this stuff survived. Oh, okay. That's going to be my win. <laughs> After those painful freaking slogs, those freaking walks through coal against miserable blue-white, that's the win. Okay. You know what? Give me my coins. I'm happy to get them, but oh, poor guy. We, we faced against somebody who didn't get all their colors. Although, I think that was a lot of basic lands on the field for a, a three-color deck. I wonder if maybe he just put the deck together. It doesn't have a lot of, like, rare lands or whatever. I don't know. It's probably terrible luck. It, it looked like we were up for a forced win. It kind of sucks. I think we can keep this. How do we play this? How do we play this? Okay. I think we start by grabbing red. I think we'll wait for hardened scales until just before or on refus. So that, that. Blue, white passes turn. Snore. All right, that. Chico. <laughs> All right, dude. All right, man. Like, I just want a game that's interesting, man. I'm trying to end my stream. I had some miserable games against Blue White. God. All right, man. All right, man. Let's play a nice wholesome game maybe against like dragons and it just maybe maybe not against a control loser and then and then I'll be happy you know we'll feel good about that and you know what icing on the cake if maybe we could not have to auto concede against a rusco scumbag like before that you know I'd be I would be on cloud Nine. Let's go. We're up against Nickel Bolas, which is just... If you're not ready by turn five to deal with that value, then that's not a game anymore. Okay, so we... Um, God, dude. <laughs> Nickel Bolas track. What, what is happening today? Yeah, that that's not a hand. Ah, uh, oh my gosh, dude, that is. Ooh, I I don't know about that one.
Okay. We found an opponent. It's Golos. Our hand? Very unfortunately. Very unfortunately. Lacks red mana. It's actually such a good hand. But gosh darn it, man. That's such a... That's really sad to pass up on. Um, we'll keep this one fine. So if we get an untapped mana, we can do Cultivate. I would imagine we go Explore otherwise. Uh... Yeah, probably Explore. Let's see what we get here. Alright, well, that's pretty cool. So we drop this one tap now. And uh, this one. Nice, okay. Alright. Got a nice land out of it. That's... <laughs> it's something to be grateful for, so let's be grateful for it. We can do um, Goblin and Archomancer into Cultivate. Feels pretty good. Um, okay, yeah, sure. Um, so that. Um, tap for land, I guess. Yep. Get a green. And we'll get two more greens with Cultivate. We got a lot of green in hand. Um, so that. Right? Is that how we're doing it? I mean, it could also arguably be Oron Refus, which I kind of like. Um, not the Loam Speaker, just in case. Um, just in case they wipe board and we need to do some rebuilding. I mean, this is clearly a space where they can cast their commander, so what are they debating? Oh, thank you for the hearts, Richard. Uh, I hope that we can uh, bring home a nice W here as we uh, see if we can uh, do all right against Golos. It looks like they're going to get the uh, the Golos off. That stakes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so... We have to do Halana, cultivate Halana and Elena, I would say, right? So let's just do that really fast. Thin out the library. Helps out our draws next turn. Grab two of those. Doesn't matter. Yep, there you go. Okay. Um, you. Um, we'll put the counters on you. So now when we attack with both of these, the Oron Rifus, um... Puts a counter on each creature that already has a plus one, plus one counter. So unfortunately, now we have to hope that they whiff. Which, yeah. Not the scenario that you want to be in. Okay, Mindstone, cool. Get them a card draw, most likely, at this point. Alright. Well, Thassa's definitely good, because it can blink in and out Golos and constantly get them, like, lands and stuff. Wait, that's definitely good. We have Ava Brook Caretaker, though, which is, it's better than freaking nothing, right? Like, we bring it in, we put the counters on Halan and Elena... Um, you, you, so that is pretty good there. Okay, well, a wipe would be devastating, of course. Oh, God, they just get flat out that. Okay, well, they probably have a lot of God cards. All right. 
I mean, it turns to night, right? Because they didn't cast any spells. Oh, wow, they got haste off of something. Oh, Perforos is there giving them haste. Yep, well. There you go, we have Llanowar Elves. I mean, we do we lost in style. I'll take that one. Look at that. Damn, look at that. All the War of the Spark guys, look at that. God Eternal Oketra. Oh, that's great. Hang on, no, I want to see that. Got Ronus or Ilharg there. Sorry, Ronus is over here. Double Ronus. Wow, double Ronus, a double Oketra. Cool, man. Wow, look at that. Kefnit, too. You got Perforos here, giving all their creatures haste. Wait. They got that with the World Tree? Search your library for any number of god cards. Is that is that a god? It should be a god. It's not saying it, but... I'm pretty sure those enchantments are gods, right? So, yeah, I, I don't know why it's not saying it there. Um, either way, that's going to conclude our uh, Magic the Gathering um, portion here. I do have one thing that I want to take a look at. For, for anyone who's interested, um, I want to, be before I forget about it, to be perfectly honest... I want to start drafting up the very beginning of a Yorvo um, Brawl deck here. So once again, that's going to be um, it for the Magic the Gathering portion of tonight's entertainment. And as always, I very much appreciate everyone who's here. And uh, if you could leave a like on the stream before you go, that um, helps it get out to other people. So thank you so much for helping out my stream with that. And... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to put a couple of uh, cards into this one and uh, probably end it there. But here's Yorvo. I, I think he's pretty cool. And I think it'll definitely keep me far away from Hell there. So, yep, we'll start with uh, that. Um, I think I want to use for this one um, things like, of course, Vorinclex, um, that uh, branching evolution, hardened scales, things that increase the number of plus one, plus one counters we put on stuff. But maybe also some things that put in, like, multiple creatures like um, Azika's Chariot, Tovalar's Huntmaster, because um, this one has whenever another green creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on your vow. Um Oh, that sounds fun. I actually learned. Oh, great. Hell yeah, let's go. And thank you, Richard. Thank you also. Thank you for being here, sir, because Big Fat MTG needed the... Uh, he needed the freaking morale boost there. That was a trip through freaking Hell Q. I, I did not think Halan and Elena was in Hell Q. I'm going to be real with you. I don't think it deserves to be because, I mean, you saw how we uh, you saw how we got treated there, man. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Um, some things that would probably be cool are, um, we'll start with maybe that Hydra that we uh, had here. Just because Yorvo gets plus one, plus one counters put on it. So this interacts nicely with the commander. Um... I think it might be nice to get this out to turn um, turn two. So we'll start with the uh, Lanawar Elves and the uh, Elvish Mystic too. Um, yep, that. I'm thinking, what type of things have uh, counters? Because um, I would... Q-U-I-R-I-O-N, sorry. Because I would like to um, get Hardened... Right, is that how you spell it? Yep, Hardened Scales. If one or more plus one, plus one counters on a creature you control, that many plus one. So we'll also do Branching Evolution and Vorinclex. This Vorinclex, I don't know if we'll use this Vorinclex. I could probably like put him in. I, I, I don't know if he fits the theme. We'll try. Something that fits the theme that I don't use too much is like this guy here. When it enters the battlefield, create two, two, two green wolves, right? And then if it flips to night... Um, it gives us a little field control, um, and when it attacks, it creates more wolves, right? Which just leads to a more Yorvo fattening. Um, yeah, so I, I think this guy is probably good. Um, another one that puts in uh, multiple tokens is Azika's Chariot there. Um, I honestly wonder, like, if we're going to go a counters route... I wonder if things like um, Kodama of the West Tree are going to be good. So I don't know if it's going to stay in. I'm just going to have it in here right now in a draft so that I can constantly look at it and mull the idea over and then see, you know, do we have enough counters stuff? Um, so Kodama would be good. Um, 
I wonder if Scoot Swarm would be good, not because we have a lot of lands going in, coming in, you know, Kodama helps with that, but that's not our commander. But Scoot Swarm is another green creature entering the battlefield, right, to uh, help out with your Vo there. So, yeah, maybe that one is going to be good. Um, a lot of times, in order to get some ideas for this, I'll honestly just uh, sort like this um, and see what we get here. Like, for example, this is whenever a green creature, right? So, um, eh, Pell Collector gets counters on it, so that might be good. Shaper Sanctuary is good, but green creature, right? Um, this one right here, Vivian Monsters Advocate, and as a matter of fact, it... I wonder if Vivian on the hunt would be good here, too, because she does minus one to give us that uh, green Rhino Warrior creature. And her plus two will bring more creatures into the battlefield. It's kind of like a, a, a tutor. Um, let's take a look here. Um, I don't know if we have enough artifacts for that to be good. That is a pretty cool card. Gala Greeters is definitely nice, and it even puts plus one, plus one counters on itself. That's going to be pretty nice in this deck here. Um, Inscription of Abundance is going to be pretty good because it's a fight interaction spell. It also deals with counters, and it can even gain us life. That'll come in handy plenty of times, too. We'll put Heroic Intervention in just for now. Um, I Loam Speaker, probably not. Ranger class, I like because it puts counters on stuff. I like Scavenging Ooze because it gets counters on itself. So if we go a route where like having counters on things matters, I think that could be nice. Um, Oron Reef Ooze, I kind of like that. So far, going the counters route once again. Um... Augur of Autumn might be good if we're going a creature route and we're trying to put a lot of creatures onto the field, right? Being able to cast off the top of the library might be good there. I don't know if Cemetery Prowler is good. The, the cost reduction is nice. It doesn't get counters, though. Um, Champion of Lambhold is definitely good. It prevents things from blocking. Fight Ring is good. Counters a uh, theme there. Oh, sorry, never add the queen, you fool. I, I don't know. At this point, I'm sorry. I don't know which one you're talking about at this point. Um, the queen. Sorry, I, I just caught up with Chad. I'm not sure. Uh, or just looked at it. Sorry, not much to <laughs> catch up on. Um, Gwenna, is Gwenna good? We don't have too many things that are huge for Gwenna to get her counters. Um, so maybe Jugan defends the temple might be good. Because it immediately puts in a, a green creature. That's definitely good. Um, is Ronus good? I don't know about that. Is Rishgar? I don't know about that either. It could be. It might not be. Um, well, we'll include it. I think Selvala is going to be good here with an ever-increasing Yorvo. I don't know about this one. It's not a green creature, I don't think. Is this green? I don't think it is. So, yeah, we're not going to use that one, I don't think. Um... I don't know about Topiary Stomper. Um. Oh, vi oh, wow. You don't want me to add the queen. Oh, Richard, you must have bumped your head. Oh, gosh. S sacrilegious, man. Sacrilegious. Um, Guardian Project, definitely. If we're doing a lot of creatures, Beast Whisperer is going to be pretty good, too. Um, let's see. Um, Oracle of Muldai, I don't know about that. We're not doing a lot of... We could be doing a lot of tokens here. I don't know. It's only green. We don't have super a lot of tokens, so I'll click that right now, but that might be coming out. Um, let's see. Um, is Toski it? We do have a lot of creatures. It might be it. Vivian adds counters to things, so... In the uh, in the counters theme, we could probably use that. This makes a creature every turn, and it's a green creature. I think that can go into this deck. Um, what with how that works. Um, 
Elder Gargaroth is definitely good, and it creates another green creature, right? In addition to the other things it does. That's definitely good. Um, Defiler of Vigor. I mean, it puts counters on everything. Um, okay. Is God Eternal Ronus? It might be good. Nissa might be good. I mean, it's it, we're in mono green here. It puts counters on those lands. At the beginning of each upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one green Saperling creature token. This probably goes into um, Vivian Reed, maybe. I mean, Vivian Reed is, like, really good, you know. Um, all of our creatures get Trample. I... Maybe, maybe, um, I, I really like Kogla for the, uh, the, like, the fight and the artifact and enchantment possible destruction. I mean, it's really so good. Um, this might not be terrible, because, like, creates two green creature tokens, and it puts, a. Two plus one plus one counters on each creature we control, possibly. It's also, like, situationally graveyard hate. That might be a good card in here. I, I don't think I have that in any other Brawl deck yet, so that's pretty cool. Um, Ancient Bronze can make things extremely bigly ridiculous. Um, hang on, I gotta go pick up my dog really fast. I don't know about Ancient Bronze Dragon. I'll put it in right now, but there's a couple of things here that I would like, as a matter of fact. Titan of Industry seems pretty good. Interestingly, Polyraptor seems pretty cool here um, because when it's dealt damage, right, we create a token that's a copy of um, Polyraptor. And that's another green creature to help our uh, commander out. We might need some serious ramp to get to it is the problem. So I, I now that I look at this top end, like I think things like uh, Vorinclex probably have to go. Ancient Bronze Dragon probably too. As much as I like the counters theme, I don't know. Maybe it stays. Polyraptor is cool, but like... It doesn't really affect the commander right away. We'll see about that one. It would be cool to have it in, but um, I think Verdant Force might be really good too because at the beginning of each upkeep, create the 1-1 one, one green Saperling creature token. It costs 8, though. Like, that is very expensive, you know, but, like, could be really good with Yorvo. Since Yorvo gets big, I think Galta is good in this deck. The Great Henge is just fantastic, uh, so that definitely comes in. Um, ooze remove ooze. Which ooze is it? Oron reef ooze. The reason that I have Oron reef ooze is because when it attacks, you put a plus one plus one counter on each creature with a plus one plus one counter. So just for right now, um, if we're going a counters route, and I don't know that we are, um, if we are, I'll probably go back and put in like Averbrook caretaker. I think I passed that one up. But, like, it is pretty good because of the on-attack thing. Um, though there is the other ooze that we were t consuming blob here. But the reason I like that one is because it keeps making creature tokens, like, at the end of, at your end steps. It's not the best, but in later game it can be really good, and it can help you recover from board wipe. It works nicely with the commander because it puts more Greek creatures in so that this thing keeps getting counters. So I don't know if it's the best. This Awaken the Woods is actually going to be really good with Yorvo. Right? Whenever another creature or green creature enters the battlefield. Are these? They are green. They're green forests. Okay. Um, so that probably goes in, right? Does this go in? Does this go in? Because when it dies, it splits into like two tokens. Which means two more creatures, right, for Yorvo. I'm going to try it. I'm curious. Um, 
Yep, Visage you. Lair of the Hydra. Um anything else? Um Shadow Spear? I mean it could be Shadow Spear because it gives big fat um big fat commander trample and lifelink. It's a very good card. I mean, the Consuming Ooze is slow. We'll see. I do like it in theory right now, though, because at, at every end step, we get that creature, which could be big. It is slow. And I kind of like it for right now. It, it might come out. Um, Let's see. Oh, I have a Maze Mind Tomb from that one. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, Card draw might be nice. What do we have for card draw now? Guardian Project. Do we have Toski? We do have Toski. Um, maybe Garrick's Uprising would be good because in a plus one plus one counters deck, if we're going to be trying to power up stuff, right? Like, it would be tragic if huge creatures just got a uh, chump blocked. I mean, I, I really like that card a lot. Um, so let's start with uh, things like Arcane Signet. Um, oh, right, I'm filtered by rare. Um, let me get rid of those. Um, okay, Arcane Signet. Here's the thing. Do I put in, like, a... Do I put in Runus's Monument into this one? Because it's mono green, right? So we reduce our green spells by... Uh, our green creature spells by one. But... Just like I said about how, you know, with plus one, plus one counters, it would be tragic to not have trample on a huge thing. Like, I mean, this does give plus two, plus two and trample. It makes me wonder. I'll put it in right now because I'm putting in, you know, mana dork stuff. So like cold steel heart right there. Um, do we do like uh, the Lanawar tribe? Um, for the record, Lanawar Tribe is uh, the one that dorks for three. Because, I mean, that is really nice early ramp in mono green. Um, I kind of like it, to be honest. Um, what else is there? Elysian Caryatid, I think, is uh, pretty good there. Um, Leafkin Druid is really nice. These two, Leafkin and Elysium, both have uh, conditions on them that let them add uh, two mana. Possibly. Um, I don't know exactly how I feel about Vivian on the hunt for this one. Um, I don't even know if I really like Aggressive Mammoth too much. I mean, the Trample is honestly good. Maybe I do like it. I don't know how I feel about Polyraptor. I kind of like Verdant Force a little more. Because Polyraptor, it really just dies to like, you know, two damage black spell, or two mana black spells. At least Verdant Force, if it gets to our opponent's upkeep, you know, they untap and then they kill it, but we get a uh, we get a thing out of it. Galta's all right. I mean, it's. I really have it in there just in case, like, the commander gets big, you know. Like, it could be pretty good. Um, it's really nice with Vivian Monster's Advocate. This is great in this deck because it just makes a free creature every turn. But it's great with the tutoring ability, the minus two, right? Because you could play Galta for, like, as little as two mana. But then you tutor for any creature with a lesser mana value, right? In other words, like, freaking anything, Right, so whatever you need, and and then you get like a nice toolbox of like maybe this extra creatures, Vorinclex if you're going crazy with counters on the field, aggressive mammoth if you need a trample, you know, hell, even Kodama of the West Tree if you need trample, you know. But we have um, let me take a look at this. I think we have um, a little a little too little two drops. I think I think we need more there. Um, so we'll probably put in um some mana dorks here so in order to find the mana dorks i usually just search for um add like that um and i want that one three here's that here's that guy um explorer's pretty good here i like it do i like loam speaker i don't know if i like loam speaker um 
do I like this? I might like this. Um, what's this? It's a giant noble. There shouldn't be any other giants or nobles in this deck. And um, I'll tell you why I'm saying that. That might sound weird in a second. Giant and noble. Okay, so there's no giant you see in alphabetical order. And there's no noble here. Okay, good. So that means that your vote is the only giant noble. That's great because let's take a look at this one. Menagerie Curator here. Tap it, add one mana of any color. Fine, only spend it to cast a creature spell. Fine, whatever. This is where it gets interesting. Whenever you cast a creature spell that doesn't share a creature type with a creature card in your library, draw a card. Your Vaux does not share a creature type with a creature card in our library, right? As two, uh, you know, kind of far out names, especially in like red and green or green here, right? So yeah, in addition to this working with our commander, which is the most important interaction for this, there's probably some other things in here, um, like maybe the Kodama of the West Tree might be the only spirit. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a big value dork to have there. Um, as long as this is modified, it taps for two mana, we'll probably put that in since we do have some stuff putting plus one plus one counters on things like um rishkar um jugan defends the temple there fight rigging will do it as well um is there anything else that's like good um I always wonder if I should put this into decks. This, maybe I should go Snowlands because this is pretty good if we're going to go a modified creature route, right? Whenever you cast a creature spell, if snow mana was spent... Uh, to cast any of its colors, it enters with an additional plus one counter. That's pretty good. So that probably means, um, oh God, what is her name? Renata. There so this one too, each other creature you control enters the battlefield with an additional plus one plus one counter on it. So now I'm going to do a search for modified. Is there anything like good, like big good for modified here? So a card that I don't have yet for these um, counter type decks. Um, yeah, let me search by uh, not collected as well since I don't have it. The Ozolith here is going to be a quite interesting um, addition to my counter oriented decks. Right, the Halan and Elena from today, the uh, the Vorinclex, and now this. Um, whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, like maybe our commander who's made out of plus one, plus one counters, or we'll probably put some Hydras in here who are also made out of plus one, plus one counters. Um, yeah, if that creature had counters on it, put those counters on the Ozolith. And that's great wording um, because, yeah, it leaves the battlefield so it can die or be exiled. Sorry, I had chat off of the uh, screen. I'm sorry if you, if you uh, said anything, if anyone said anything. But, uh, yeah, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if this Ozolith has counters on it, we can move all counters from the Ozolith onto target creature. That's pretty wild with Vor and Klax as a commander, right? Because putting the counters onto this, you actually double the counters you uh, put onto it, right? And then when you take the counters off of it to put it onto the next thing, you double the number of counters at that step too. So that is pretty interesting. Uh, I wonder if I get rid of like God Eternal Ronus in this one, honestly. I don't I don't know. Might get rid of Ronus. Maybe focus on counters and uh, counters and uh, like excess creatures. Um, let's see. Do we have any like token? Just checking if we have anything that puts in like multiple creature tokens. Let me search by uh, collected. That might be easier. Something interesting for this, because um, I, I plan on getting this card um, with a tally. 
Um, and then I'll probably have it in a whole bunch of stuff. But what do we think of this? And it's also Mythic variant in um, Brothers War, so maybe I'll get it in these fat packs. At the beginning of combat on your turn, create a token that's a copy of equipped creature, except the token isn't legendary, and that token gains haste. Now, granted, this will not be good with um, your Voar commander. Um, well, actually, the... the yeah, the, it'll enter with the counter, so that's fine. It won't be good with the Hydras. I I wonder, does it copy the... I don't think it copies the number of counters on stuff, right? So, like, if we, if we made a copy of, like, this Hydra right here, I think it just enters with X equals 0 plus 1 plus 1 counters and dies no matter how many counters the original had. Um, but, yeah, this can be very good um, with, like, anything on our uh, on our high end up here it, it the to the copies that it makes are non-legendary too um so things like kogla titan of industry would be incredible to copy there are a bunch of things in here that aren't that good to copy but i don't know i i kind of like the card so i'm kind of gonna put it there for now um I think I probably need to shave off from somewhere in the uh, 4, 5, and 6 range here. Like, I wonder how good Azika's Chariot is really going to be. Um, Titania's Command is pretty expensive, um, but it could put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on each creature we control. I don't have a lot of interaction right now is the problem. So I'm going to have to shave off quite a bit of cards. Um, like maybe something like Lanawar Tribe can go. Because as good as it is, like it, it doesn't give us creatures or more than one creature or counters. So like that might have to go. Ronus's Monument, as, as much as I like it, it might have to freaking go. Um... So yeah, I think I'll uh, stop there. Let's uh, name it. Nah, it's got a lot of Vivian. Let's put Vivian there. It, it's only right. Oh God, Vivian Reed is wonderful. All right, boys and girls. So thank you if you uh, if you watch that for uh, freaking indulging me. But uh, yeah, that's basically how I start to uh, throw together a deck. Obviously, that idea was mulled over a little bit on a couple of dog walks before I uh, just did that. But yep, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't know what I'll be streaming, as usual. I'm really looking forward to uh, opening a bunch of packs when uh, the new set comes out. But yep, until then, well, tomorrow, not until the new set. Yep, until tomorrow, I'll see you. We'll play whatever. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and uh, yeah, bye-bye now, boys and girls. Thanks for stopping by.